and welcome back to our Task Team M uh, episode five. So uh, I am once again joined by my uh, lovely, lovely cast here. Uh, we have about three episodes left, including this one. So hopefully I can end it on a, on a number that I have in my mind, but we will see. <laughs> so I'm going to run through and introduce uh, everybody, uh, or we are going to run through and introduce everybody. So for me, uh, my name is Fuz, or Fuzka, I'm the DM for this adventure. Uh, thank you once again for joining us. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and uh, you're going to hear me talk quite a bit because... I'm a yapper, so uh, I will pass it off. I'm gonna uh, go to Anita. Oh, that's me. Hey, everybody, Anita's here. Um, is my, I'm feeling that my mic is pretty loud. Is my mic pretty loud right now? Someone give me, okay, I'm just self-conscious. Here we are, Anita's here. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, I will be playing the incomparable Karen Wuggly, uh, who has an ax in her back. Uh, an axe wound in her back, so that's that's fun. Uh, we are going to um, uh, promote my uh, limited series actual play thingy that's happening on the Girls from These Worlds channel. Uh, it, uh, we will be telling a tale of revenge and magic uh, and invincible sword, which is it's great. It uses the Invincible Sword Princess game um, by a really cool person on the intern webs and just in life, Kazumi Chen. Uh, stop by if you want to like TRPG, but like take a little bit of a break from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, that's my uh, that's my pitch. Um, somebody take the mic. Uh, Kit, I believe in you. That's one of us, okay. Uh, hello, yeah, call me Kit. I'm the guy without the camera, and you are listening to 104.9 The Rage. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, today we are <laughs> Thank you. From, ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when you have food with us. I love you, but God damn it, woman. Um, I play, you signed up uh, for this. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. That's, I'm here for it. Well, yeah, I know. I thanked you for it last week, uh, last few weeks, didn't I? I believe so, <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> All right, so uh, I play uh, Mr. Wybert Brown, who goes by Bert. He is a eight nine human being, or at least he thinks he is. Uh, he comes from a big ass family, <laughs> and he unfortunately is cur as, or, or not currently, but he last session he beat the crap out of his new best friend, unfortunately, and that makes me so incredibly sad. And yet, it was so incredibly compelling. So yeah, uh, I'll pass it off right now. I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put that off the Vogel here. Go for it. Hey, I'm Vogel, Vogley, or Vogel Staddle. My pronouns are she, her. And uh, I am not on the interwebs that much. <laughs> so I don't have anything to follow or promote. But uh, I am excited to see Anita's thing on Thursday. So can't wait. Can follow. Um, I think played... I have been talking about some plans, though. Don't you dare. We're going to see what happens. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and <laughs> I play, I play, uh, Helkatla, the, uh, changeling paladin who has no sense of personal space and loves to hug everything. And I have ideas for that. Uh, <laughs> so, um, and I'm going to pass it off to Joe. Take it away. Hey, this me. I'm Joe. I'm here. I'm going to play some D and D. Uh, I play Noel. He's a minotaur ranger who's built like a fighter but thinks he's a professor. It's a fun time. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and we'll see if I can brain muscle my way out of the problems we find ourselves in. Yes. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, shit. I do have interwebs things to promote. I was <laughs> like, I don't got nothing. Hey, on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> At 5 p.m. Pacific, sorry, I'm working backwards from real people time, um, <clears throat> we play D&D &D on Dispel Logic, and I think we're pretty fun, so come check us out. And that's me. I'm also supposed to send it to the next person, so I'll send it to Nenners, because he's the last next person, but not, but you know, also good. <laughs> Dennis, you're muted. 
Are they? <laughs> he's, he's making them happy. It was a choice. Yeah, it was yeah. a choice to communicate via thumbs, and I respect. <laughs> No, nope. nothing, buddy. Is your voice mod doing you dirty? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think Merv it's died yet, but maybe he's just How about now. Can you hear me now? Meta. Yay! Hello, awesome. I'm going to have to troubleshoot the shit out of that later. Anyway, uh, I'm Nenners. Uh, I am usually hanging out on Fuzi's channel um, for the most part. What I was going to say? Oh, I play Merp, uh, victim betrayed. Uh, he's very hurt right now. <laughs> Both mentally, physically, <laughs> and possibly spiritually, if you had one. Uh, but I am super excited to get back in here. Uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious as to what Vogel's uh, creeping about. Anyway, let's go. No, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go. We, we can just we can wait. I guess. <laughs> she she looks like such a great fit, grumpy little hermit right now, just eating her snacks and being mad. Crying oh, like so much. Oh, no, please, please enjoy your food. No worries at all. Um, but we will start our recap uh, by uh, running over this wonderful task team M, uh, this group of people who have been called to investigate uh, a certain block in a desert city named Kimate Kimane. Um, that block within the city seemed to have been uh, plagued with uh, nightmares uh, detailing the corruption of the oasis that sustains the city. And not only this, but there seems to be the appearance of rats. And being that it is a desert city, typical rats um, are not found here. Uh, there are certain sand and desert kind of mouse and mice and rodents, but these rats are not native to this area. But there have been a few sightings and a particular shopkeeper was very worried about the people in that area. So sending off this team to uh, a clandestine mission to investigate this area, um, the group fought a rat and a few rats on a rooftop <laughs> and chased him down a little bit, uh, found their way into one house in particular. And after uh, incredible stealth checks, uh, especially from Merv, <laughs> kind of investigating the inside of the house, um, you were able to find uh, people who were likely currently enduring uh, a nightmare of some kind. But not only that, um, but a pit of some kind that led underground. And being again, that this is a desert city, Basements are very unusual, and especially dark magic pits, even more unusual. The group decided to go investigate, and after descending uh, in various creative ways, <laughs> one of which was a testing beanie, correct? <laughs> um, one of which was uh, a spider climb that was put on uh, the barbarian, uh, who kind of walked through what seemed to have been sort of spectral, semi-invisible rats along the walls. Uh, and unfortunately fell under the influence of such a charm. Uh, running into the rat a little bit later, he seemed to have activated that charm in particular, and um, Bert started attacking the team. Uh, and with Bert attacking the team and this, uh, everyone kind of confined to this, this sort of sewer-like situation uh, under this house, uh, you guys were fighting not only Bert, but uh, the rats who they had fought on the roof also showed up trying to kind of uh, manipulate the field a little bit, but uh, with a combination of terrible roles for me in some cases and great roles from you guys, uh, it's it's going uh, a little tense at the moment, but uh, we are picking up in the middle of this combat um, with uh, some incredible attempts to keep Bert away from the group, uh, which did work. I believe that burned a whole action for him to kind of come back to you guys anyway, <laughs> if I remember correctly, but um, after some Incredible teamwork, uh, and unfortunately, the fight is still going. We're picking up here. Uh, so let me move everyone over to the map, and we'll get started soon. Uh, the other thing I'm going to uh, remind everybody is, uh, is this correct? Did I update it? I believe I did. OK, yes, that does look correct. Uh, congratulations to Anita and Joe. The two of you have the um, expiring inspiration die uh, for tonight. So if you ever forget how that works, I do have that um, handout for you. And I think that's it for all the talky talks. We're getting into the fights. So let me move you guys over and we'll get back into this. And if I remember correctly, um, Bert is at the top because he rolled incredible initiative, yeah, unfortunately. He did. Uh, all right, so let me make oh, sure everything man. is right. up. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the initiative is going to look blank at first because it's real silly that way. Uh, all right, so you guys should see it moving now, right? Yes. 
Okay, good. Because uh, it was doing some goofy shit last time. Okay. Uh, so with that, I'm getting started. Uh, the rat, by the way, just so you guys remember, he is on this wall here. Uh, he's kind of, he's up about 10 feet and he's looking a little hurt, but he's up the wall at the moment. And um, I believe uh, both Noel and uh, Helkatla uh, attempted to attack him, I think. One of you landed? I don't remember. Uh, uh, I, but I did because yeah. uh, Noel was lifting me up. <laughs> yes, I, do, I do remember that. I do remember that. Uh, so you guys are up there, uh, or he's up there, and you guys were attacking him. Um, but it is Bert's turn, uh, who <laughs> unfortunately has not passed a single wisdom save. Uh, Kit, go ahead and roll me a d4. Uh, okay. Uh, door. Uh, roll one d4. Ghost. Two. You had to roll that one. Uh, you are still raging, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Uh, under your mind control, uh, your target has not changed since the first time you were mind controlled. Uh, you have to go make your attacks against your boy Merp. <laughs> Why? No. Because I gave it a chance to be someone else, and it was not. I but and, and I hate to say this, but but Karen's closer. Uh, okay. She okay. Is. You're, you're the DM. You say go for it. I go for it. Okay. The D four was a number was attached to each character, and it was to see who you were going to attack. And number two. Why is there no five though? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Why am I asking? You're the fifth one. You can't attack yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Excuse me. You notice Booz didn't tell us who was what number so that she could just make sure it was Nanners. No! <laughs> I was going left to right, so... Uh, I don't Karen think it's a vindictive one. thing. I think it's that you're <laughs> no, most not. comfortable killing your relatives. That's actually correct. The only person I've murdered in this game has been Vogel. <laughs> <laughs> but I do consider her my blood sister, so, you know, maybe... Anyway, yeah, anyway. Yeah, um, you feel bad about it. I get it. I love you, Bugly. Please go ahead and roll me your attacks. Okay. So what do you guys think? Should I put on the Great Weapon Master? It's up I mean, to... What do you think he would do? Yeah, it's board. what Bert would do. Right. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't think you've never not used it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God damn it. But it does make you more likely to miss. It does. You do not have advantage, so make sure you don't have that checked on. I don't know if it is, but... Just okay, it's it's normal, yeah. Okay. I mean, I could destroy this man if I hit him with one of those. That's the issue I'm having. So leave yeah. the swing on him. Okay. It's whatever your character would do. Okay. Yeah, Remember, he, he's not thinking with Kit Brain. He's thinking with Bert Brain. Okay. So no brain at all. Okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> It's a brain. It's just got a limited set of directions. Uh, okay. Nanners, if yeah. I tell you right now, I'm very sorry. I love you, man. It's I'm a light sorry. Version. It, it's okay. You're fine. Oh, God. Okay. 15. 15 just misses. No! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's good news. Because that means oh, 11 or lower is a miss. I'm That's technically in your favor. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, all right, and one? Yeah. one more. Okay, energy, energy. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ah! <Okay. laughs> Woo -wee! All right. So Bert comes up, still raging, and you can see that the attacks this time were a little more reckless than usual. Uh, and thankfully, uh, it doesn't seem to catch you by surprise this time, Burp. And you managed to dodge both. <laughs> uh, but Bert, that is the end of your turn. Uh, I'm gonna double check something. Okay, that's it. Uh, which brings us to Karen, who you just watched your tiny friend kind of squirrel around these attacks. Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I think in Karen's mind and also in Anita's game mind, uh, without key points, Karen is not going to stop Bert or give 20 points of damage to Bert enough to like knock him out of this funk. Um, so I think like with Karen being a wise person, she like gets that. Uh, I'm tapped out. 
I got interrupted in the middle of my nap, so I can't I can't really <laughs> do what I usually do. Uh, she's um, gonna turn to uh, the dodging kobold uh, and uh, say, um, "You got any thing for this?" <laughs> He's just like <laughs> looking for stuff on his person, um, and I assume you mean like our, our like the 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 barbarian who's trying to kill me right now, right? Uh, yes. Like, okay. uh, um, either like, can you like magic him out of this, or can you like do enough damage to like knock some sense back into him? Any of that? <laughs> okay. Um. Uh... He's going to hold like a handful of vials and just kind of shrug. <laughs> uh, bets. So <laughs> metagaming, Anita asking you, Nenners, uh, if I like go on the other side and just like give advantage uh, for you in melee strikes, would that help? He has crossbows. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Bets. Uh, then uh, I am instead uh, going to grab you. Uh, oh. um, okay. Are you willing to go with me? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. If you're gonna take uh, me away from the the giant with an axe. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am going to use my action uh, to, uh, gosh, I wanted to save this, but nah, I'm going to use my action to do the do the six level monk thing, uh, wholeness of body. I gain the ability to heal myself as an action. I re can regain hit points. Why am I reading and not commenting? <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> uh, I can regain hit points equal to three times my monk level. Uh, and I must finish Damn. a long rest before I can do this feature again. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get 18 hit points back. Yes. Uh, I'm going to grab uh, I'm going to grab the, the friend. Um, <laughs> and then I am going to yeah, just run towards the edge and jump. I need a... Uh, ooh? Uh... Okay. Does Bert get a... Uh, you sure do. Uh, trying to move, uh, Bert will take an opportunity attack on you. Okay. Yeah, on me, right? On Not... you, yes. Yes, awesome. Yeah, because you're the one moving, exactly. He can't take it on... on uh... Okay. Great Love weapon that. passes on, and he's swinging. I he's almost missed. said oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that yeah, misses! Your AC is <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Her AC is 20. <laughs> Okay, that, yeah. was, that was that was what I was supposed to be doing. Putting do, straight weapon master. Do you, okay. do you want to describe uh, Karen's sick ass dodge while carrying a precious package? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like um, Karen's a wise person. Karen like very much observed a lot and like admired the form when this person was just like axing the rat person that we were. Uh, that we were on um, and I think Karen is just like in a very like monk zen space as she's like ears perk up listen like watching like how um, Merp dodged the first two uh, and sort of tries to uh, yeah just do some predicting some like smart combat and grabs him does one of these uh, and uh, <laughs> runs for the ledge uh, and jumps as far as she can. Uh, right. uh, you way. have you do have half movement because you're carrying someone else. However, you can absolutely make it to that edge and jump. Um, but with the uh, precious cargo with you, uh, I will take an athletics check to see um, if you can put yourself exactly where you'd like. Okay. You and Merp, that is. <laughs> Not just you. Yeah, I was, I was looking for 
my die and then roll 20 is what we use here so <laughs> <laughs> oh um, yeah sorry <laughs> yeah i gotta click athletics oh no uh i'm not proficient in athletics that sucks um got this I would okay. lend you my athletics. Ooh. Not bad at all. Um, my my DC and my brain was because Merp. How how much do you weigh? I don't I don't feel like. Oh god, uh, Merp is uh, forty four oh, pounds. Rude. He's small and exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Exactly as I figured. The other thing is believe. <laughs> uh, the other thing is Karen's a mom. She carries kids, so that's kind of not that unusual. So my DC was like twelve or something, not very high. So you make it. Um, so you can leap. You can make it to this wall, or you can land on the other side of it. It's entirely up to you. And just so you know, this is about a ten foot drop. Uh, you wouldn't take damage, of course. I'm just letting you know, kind of perched on top, or beneath, or in front of it, wherever you'd like. Word, like um. My horizontal jump, I'm trying to get as far away as possible. Like, okay. and my horizontal jump should be, um, like, what is it? My strength score, uh, mm -hmm. so 14. Uh, but then mm -hmm. I have the boots of striding and springing, so that yeah. gets multiplied by three. So Christ. I should be able to get 52 feet. That's totally true. Away. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I don't know how to <laughs> make go. like, I don't know how to make like, uh, arrows to see like how much. Sure, space on the, the um, is. on roll twenty the on the map left map, side, uh, on the top left, you should see sort of like there should be like an arrow and like a, uh, I believe a zoom, like a, a magnifying glass. There should be one that looks like a ruler. If you yes. select that, then Here whenever you go. click anywhere on the map, you should be able to click and drag. There you go. Ooh, uh, and then when you're okay. done, you have to click back to the arrow at the top of the left. So, because uh, otherwise you won't be able to drag your character around. Uh, that looks like 45 feet. Sure um, is. To get over here, can I? Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I make the jump? Yeah, 100. percent With that athletics check and your magic boots, you can go wherever you want. <laughs> hey. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Let me select the arrow. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Gosh, uh, we're we're over here now, and and All so right. is Merp. <laughs> and Merp, I'm gonna drag you over because you have also landed uh, awesome. way off into that side, which is much relief, I'm sure, because uh, you are quite far away from the man who was trying to murder you a moment ago. <laughs> um, what a turn! Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, action, bonus action, movement. I'm done. <laughs> incredible, incredible. Uh, that brings us to, I almost, I minimized that I did. There it is. Um, my rat boy, actually. I didn't realize he was so soon in this situation. He's not. Okay. He's, not. Uh, <laughs> he's not. He's a bitch. Uh, okay, he's also, <laughs> as his bonus action, he's going to kind of whip out another um, bottle from his side uh and drink that down once again so kind of having that um wispy uh quality to it as he does it how many okay uh and heals a little bit uh yep. for his bonus action pardon me as i do this stuff uh so that's that number and so close that we don't need that close that we don't need that and for his action uh okay so he makes three attacks one bite and two with his claws so he is going to uh go after Helkatla because i believe you were the last Good. person to hit him yes um so he does that i'm just making sure i'm going between enemies so i'm making sure i'm not like they get this they get that so all right Enemy. everything everything looks right okay so one bite two claws on you as he's kind of lashing out from the top of the uh look at all these terrible rolls. Oh, uh, the last <laughs> one hits me yeah i imagine the natural 20 25 hits you uh okay so not too bad uh you take 11 points of slashing damage okay uh, i can do math Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't do that. Okay. You can do it, girl. Um, so yeah, he you take eleven points of slashing as he kind of like lashes out at you, but i I feel like most of it was just kind of like scratching against your your chain mail and your armor that was there. So most of the attacks didn't do much, but after that he's gonna uh 
try and scurry away from you. Uh, he does not uh, prov- or invoke a, a attacks of opportunity. Huh, words are rough, uh, but he's gonna he's gonna skitter off this way. I'm gonna say he's gonna go towards the edge. Uh, and uh, as he does so, he you see him kind of looking over at Bert. Ah, ah, get, get them! Uh, but that's the end of his turn. And Merp, you are relocated. In the arms of an angel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, how does he have line of sight on uh, Bert? Also, um, factor in that I am three foot or you're, four you're foot. You're tiny. Yeah, I'm tiny. Um, um, if Karen is holding four, you, four. I think you can. Because the other thing is, Bert is very tall. So I think Bert might have like partial cover just because you probably can't see from like his knee down. But if Karen still has you in his arms, uh, her arms, and they're up higher, you can still see a part of him for sure. Yeah, no worries, Nana. I'll, Nanders, I'll send by you. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! <laughs> um, all right, so uh, Bert is going to load a. Uh, like another vial into his crossbow that smells faintly of like pork rind and a little bit of butter uh, and aim it towards uh, Bert and fire it at him. Uh, and that's going to be me casting grease. Uh, so I'm basically going to center it right. Like it's going to hit him like a, like a wet, like a, like a balloon, like a, a water balloon. Like it just like grease go everywhere. Uh, oh, yeah. So you need to make a dexterity save, sir. The fuck are you in? Mm-hmm. Are you throwing grease at my ass? Because I don't yep, want you yep. to hit my teammates, and I don't want you to hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Um, get that for you. Okay. I believe you have advantage because of uh, danger sense, right? <laughs> Damn it! Do I have danger? I have no way of slowing this guy down. I'm this fairly certain. Uh, <laughs> so it was like it's this it, or whatever. I've landed like, on dexterity just... saving throws of effects that I can see. Yeah, you're you're you can see a bolt coming. At you. <laughs> Uh, you watch them run away and then it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. I saw them leave, so okay, I can see it. Yeah. So I have an exactly. advantage. Uh, advantage and rolling. Twelve. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. So you are prone. Uh, so let me put you on the whoops, I fell uh, icon, which always cracks me up. It's there you a go. Ten foot uh, <laughs> area, so it should pretty much be Correct. this almost entire area here. So how big is Correct. it? I can put an aura on me. How big is it? Uh, I got it. Don't worry about the aura. Uh, okay. Better as you continue with your uh, turn. Well, I'm a caster, so me burning an action like that as a spell mm-hmm. makes me a sad boy. I can't really do anything else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me just double check. Uh, yeah, everything else is... Oh the only God. thing I could have done. I need to heal myself, but I'm like, it's not going to make a difference if I get whacked again. Uh, yeah, Karen's sort of like... Like holds holds you down like after the shot and just gives you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I fucking love the visual of the um, Simba those. though. <laughs> so <you should> like, <laughs> <all> Simba. <laughs> oh, it's a gun, yeah. I love that so uh, much. Yeah, that is the end of my turn. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. I'm good. Thank you. All right, sounds good. That brings us to Noel. Uh, you watched him kind of drink something really quickly, and then kind of scurry away. Well, Noel just locked eyes with Alcadla and nodded because we had a plan. And then now there's a drop over an edge that I'm worried about. So I'm going to relock eyes and just double check. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing excited. it. We're into it. <laughs> All right. Then what we're going to do it's great. is kind of just take a a running step or two together and then just with (laughs) like a hand like in a rim of the pauldron or on the back of the belt uh, chuck this woman (laughs) at a (laughs) rat and she's gonna like hug grab grapple thread oh my god i love (laughs) it if i could use my reaction to do that (laughs) (laughs) um were you holding your turn well that'll be hell no. I'm gonna hold my no. turn for her turn immediately. After. Right, I see. Okay, concur- so concurrently, got but, it. Uh, so it wouldn't it wouldn't need to be your reaction, uh, Helkatla, because okay. okay, you get two attacks per round, so you can make two attempts to grab him. Um, so basically, make two attack rolls as you're fucking flung through the air, uh, <laughs> and then he gets the attempt to kind of break out because it'll be contested after that. Uh, but 
I will also have an athletics check from Noel, just because you can do this. Um, but I think if you are dead on with this accuracy with your athletics check, I'm going to give her Question advantage. Question the these big, one. muscly arms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, essentially, I'm going to hold up a second and just look at you, just, oh, are you certain? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Oh my God. And I'm gonna roll my inspiration because this is what it was made for. <laughs> this is what it was made for. An eleven is offensive with my plus seven. <laughs> it is. That's, that's a, there you still go. shit, right. but I'll take it. No, an eighteen because it adds to it. But don't forget, yes, uh, still, mine is different. But yeah. cumulatively, <laughs> twenty-eight <laughs> plus seven, and I got less than twenty. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I understand, and I'm very sorry. Um, it's but... how I do. An 18 will absolutely do it. So, Halakala, you are fastball special <laughs> at this rat that is attached to the wall. Because the other thing was, if it was low enough, then Halakala had a chance to touch the wall, which the rats are running across. Um, but with your accuracy in this toss, she's okay. She's not going to touch the wall. Um, so, Halakala, the first attack roll, uh, you get advantage on because he threw you with incredible accuracy. And then the second one will be uh, regular. But go ahead and roll. And then if you land, that means we get to roll to see if you have him grab. Okay, uh, for the attack roll, should I just click my prying mace? Yeah. Okay. So that's the first roll with advantage. And then. <laughs> oh, I guess there's a thing. You do. You absolutely do. So, okay. N many things have happened right now. Um, because you got a natural 20, I'm going to give you advantage on your athletics check as well. Because uh, this is now a contested roll to see if he can slither out of your grasp because you grabbed him. But I'm going to give you advantage because you got a natural 20. Uh, so go ahead and roll your athletics uh, or acrobatics, whichever you prefer, to hold him. Actually, no, it has to be athletics from you. Athletics. It's athletic, yeah. acrobatics or athletics yeah. from him. Advantage. So he gets a flat roll, you get advantage. Athletics. Oh, he's he's pretty dex dexy, though. Oh, shit. Beat you by one. No. I'm sorry. You do, chance. however, you do have another chance. So you get another attack. This one is not at advantage. Right. Um, so go ahead and roll one more time. Uh, do -do. Okay. Good. That, that hits his AC. Uh, so one more time. We're gonna contested. Contesting uh, roll. strength, athletics. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Oh no. <laughs> That's a natural one. Okay. Oh However, your pride mace does do something special when you get a natural 20. And yes. I and I want to say that you were using it to try to like hook into him. Yeah. But he's a squirrely little rat bastard. <laughs> he's just kind of worming his way around you. Um, but go ahead and uh tell us what, what's gonna happen. Okay, so when or I roll a 20 <laughs> on an attack roll made with the weapon against a living creature with intelligence of six or higher. Uh, you immediately learn what the last lie, uh, the last lie it told. So uh, oh. I don't learn the truth behind the lie, only the phrase or phrases that were used when it told the lie. And if the phrase is in a language I don't understand, I still learn the phrase, but not its meaning. Okay. okay. Um, the last lie that this creature told... Um, I will also. Okay, wait, would you mind pasting it? Are you? Oh, yes. If you don't mind, I just I want to make sure I'm not giving too much or too little. Okay, I'll sure take it. I, uh... it. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Uh, intelligence is definitely uh, okay. Okay, so not like who it was to, but just the last lie it was told. Yeah. Um, okay, the last lie it told. Uh, you hear it as, um, no, no, I've been sleeping fine. Ah. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So you got chucked. You unfortunately did not land uh, the uh, restraint. I think because he touched you so well and you actually landed both, but he was just kind of squirming his way out. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you just kind of like slide down underneath him. <laughs> Because okay. you wouldn't be you wouldn't be holding on to him or the wall at that point. So you would just kind of so I'm, I'm gonna say that you're just gonna I'm fall like, right with him, which is not like down the waterfall, you're just you're right. at the edge, but you just landed and you're kind of like chicked. <laughs> yeah. So um, no part of me is touching him. No, or the wall. So oh. you're just kind of at the edge of that little waterfall. And thankfully it's it's not as like dramatic as it might look that, that waterfall is like a 
10 foot drop, maybe like 15 okay. feet or so. So it's, it's nothing crazy over there, but uh, that was an awesome fucking yes, one, two punch. Work. I'm so I wish, sorry like, anything, did not work. it would have worked. I'm so I mean, sorry. All right. It's not just you. I rolled a seven and a four. <laughs> it's just that and I had a, a backup. Her. Yeah, that, that, that was... That was hard. I'm so sorry. Uh, so this is the oil that I was putting down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the grease. here trying to think of what posh thing I would yell as I launched <laughs> someone into space. Well, you know, launched uh, someone. And the best I can come oh. up with is Excelsior, which just means it went, Excelsior, no! <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of amazing. That and works. I love it very much. And then just a sigh uh, of relief when you don't go over the edge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She says, uh, it right. was fun. <laughs> so the grease is, is a 10 foot square. So it's not a radius. It's just a square. So I'm going to yep. put it on him like that. Um, okay. well, he'd put oh. it as close as he could to that, like to the, that ledge. Yeah. Because oh, his, his, uh, like here? To the teammates. Yeah, exactly. Because he didn't want right. anybody he wants them to go through it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He does not want to uh, good, have good, his teammates good. get whacked. Good, good, good. Um, okay, uh, so with that, uh, that goes through the both of your turns and brings us back to Bert. So Bert, you are on your ass because you failed <laughs> that check. Uh, mm -hmm. So it takes you half your movement to get up. It's difficult terrain uh, and you are not terribly bright. So this would take you, you would still be able to reach Noel uh, mm -hmm. and you would not be able to reach, uh, well, actually you took technically would. Roll me a D2. Noel is one, Helkatla is two. He also has to roll a save again because he started in the goo. Correct. Yes. <laughs> so roll your roll your D2 and then roll your uh, dexterity saving throw once again. Uh, okay. I'm heading Helkatla. Yeah. And then your D your your dexterity saving throw, which again is at advantage because uh, is it he his rage dropped because he didn't hit anything. Oh, that's a good point, and he didn't take damage. That's part so, of the reason why is it that. is it only when raging? No. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty God sure that's you. just in general. Yeah. Hacker ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so normal uh, barbarians have very few, you know, incredible yeah, little being, things here and there. That's why doesn't matter. <laughs> right back down again. Uh, I'm gonna say. Well, does that that's, just like is that's it? That's 100 of his movement, right? Start? I, that's I mean, what I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> does it like? The second he begins, or hold on a second, uh, uh, standing in its area, yeah. uh, a creature that enters or ends its turn. Well, enters or ends its turn in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, it ended its turn in it. Well, he hasn't ended. Wait, hold on. He ended <laughs> his it, previous turn in it, right? So he's starting his turn in the yeah. game. I know, but it doesn't say like when they start their turn yeah, in yeah, it. They yeah, say I'm, when I'm, a creature I'm, enters I'm, it for I'm, the first time after it's cast. So, like, initially when you cast okay, it, they uh, have to do it right then and there. And then afterwards, it's if they enter it or leave or are end in it. Uh, so, you can move. You have half your movement. You, you have half your movement, and this is difficult terrain. So, the farthest you can get is 10 feet. But that is all you need. Uh, so, uh, oh, no here, yeah. And then on her. Because I don't see you doing anything else. Uh, but I go ahead and attack. Uh, My rage is off, right? Your rage is off, correct. Um, do you think Bert would rage again? I hate to say it, but yes. Then rage again with your bonus action and attack with your action. Please and thank you. That's all my rage. Oh, okay. No. We're going. Oh, you don't have advantage. I'm sorry. Um, no, but... That's okay. We, we just we just take the first one. Yeah. So sixteen does not uh, hit. Cool. Next. And one more. Eighteen. Eighteen is my armor class. Mm. Oof. Okay. Okay. Twenty-four. God damn it. Twenty-four. Okay. What a fucking God, that was hit that was. Uh, yeah. Whew. Uh so that is your turn because that's your action and yeah. everything else, literally everything else that you could do. Uh Karen, you are up. Uh off in the distance, symboling uh Merp. She brought me down. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that is true. Yeah, I think like 
still like has him like up just on the shoulder and her and uh i think merp's head is a little higher uh and she'll just say how we doing up there <laughs> gives you the thumbs up <laughs> looks like he's trying to load something into a crossbow but nothing that would be game appropriate but yeah um <laughs> uh, karen karen doesn't want to go back up there but also Karen's a monk and can't really do anything else. Um, if you're loading up a crossbow, uh, are you going to make an attack roll on your turn, Netters? <laughs> uh, no, you'd see that it looks like a little... It's another vial, like it's another spell he's preparing, it looks like. The help action won't do anything. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I guess... Um, we're going to, all right, if it, all right, it seems like they're, like, focused, like, here now on, like, the allies. Um, so we're going to, we're going to try to, like, back up five. Um, and because I'm an athlete, I only need five feet to like do my full jump uh, mm -hmm. and try to try to get up here again, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just to get a better a better vantage point. Uh, I freaking love it. And the other and thing is, like, you're sorry. Go ahead. Um, if like I'm gonna need an athletics check to carry them at the same time as like jumping. I, I would just like put Merp in my bag of holding, uh, the pink <laughs> glittery bag, and just be like, hold your breath for like a second. Merp in the bag. Um, <laughs> jump. I love how Merp is just shoved. <laughs> yeah, I will say um, the putting Merp into your bag and out would account for your action, uh, just because of the time it would take to like willingly put someone in there and then like jump back out and put them out. You you're totally like welcome to do that but just so you know yeah i i wasn't gonna use my action for anything anyway um <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we've we've made right. the jump uh yes. we've gotten bert a really good vantage point we've got the high ground um and that's the turn <laughs> all right great uh at the end of your turn it is the rat's turn uh and with helcatla there uh he's gonna attempt to attack you again uh okay that's rats, a weird rats. way to pronounce surrender but okay <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh okay no that does hit it's the same fucking almost like same fucking outcome as last time um that's that's the lowest amount of damage he can do. So yes. four, okay. points, four points of slashing uh, as he kind of uh, lashes out at you one more time, uh, and kind of like seeing a little bit of the chaos. I'm gonna have him check something real quick. Oh, well, that was actually not terrible. Uh, you see his eyes just kind of like darting around the battlefield. <laughs> Let's call on red rats, uh, and he's gonna kind of. Scamper his way around if he can. Hold on, let me just double check some movement stuff. Also, not provoking an opportunity attack. Unfortunately, okay. yes. Uh, Mother Hakamak. What a schmuck. <laughs> what a shit. Yeah, they, the, these rats are they're, they're real fucking. Uh, I wish to set them on fire. Uh, so he can jump to the other side. Uh, actually, I'm going to have him jump here. And with his movement that is 15 feet of movement, he's going to scurry towards you two but he's not going to do anything. He's just scurrying over. Uh, that's the end of his turn. Merp, you are up. Uh, you're going to hear... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're going to hear what sounds like tearing fabric behind you. Um... <laughs> uh, Karen. Uh, Karen, uh, Karen, Karen is not looking okay. forward to you. Karen is puzzled by this <laughs> man. Um... Uh, but he's going to use his healer's kit as he's like tearing apart gauze and just kind of like wrapping himself up as much as he can. Um, which I believe is it actually on here? Or do I have to roll manually? I think uh, you have to manually. Yeah, I do. Unless, okay. unless you set it up, in which case. <laughs> I definitely did not. Uh, okay, so. 
I'm still sad about the fucking <laughs> Noel Hill Cutlin. I can't breathe. <laughs> anyway. Uh, still- Sometimes uh, the dice are nice, and the rest of the time is most nice of the me. time. Uh, yeah, so that's that's a whopping six. Uh, and he's with his other hand after like, like kind of still having like gauze in his teeth. Is kind of like aiming vaguely at uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. and is going to fire um, a bolt that has healing word in it uh, at level uno. Oh, um, but he oh. also gets that's no. It's actually better than that because he's an alchemical master. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. he gets, I think, an additional plus five to that. Let me just double check before I start. Oh, I'm picturing yeah. like uh, a nerf whistling yes. dart, but it just says, you're doing great as it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, similar to the one that hit uh, uh, Bert, this one doesn't have a point. So just like a water balloon like hits and like detonates on you. Uh, <laughs> and it's kind of like a smooth kind of herbal blend, but uh, you feel okay. a little better. It's my plus my aunt. So yeah, that's uh, 13. You get back from that. Ooh, both both of us, or you get thirteen, I get six because I can't roll. So you're oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you. You get, you get healed. Very nice, <laughs> um, <laughs> Murph. Where do you say the 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 arrow lands? She's got chain mail and like all the stuff. So is it like <laughs> in her neck? Or, like, well, again, yeah, it's it's, it's more. It's like a liquid. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it just it's just a splash effect. So he's aiming for okay, the, so the, the numbers. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Uh, which I imagine Hokala is probably like on her way around and then pushed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that, uh, since um, Karen is my movement, that's the end of my turn. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Karen is my movement. Uh, no, you are out. I'm so sad. This is what we were supposed to be doing, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got I got ideas and plans. So. I'm double checking, <laughs> casting times, it will work. Now I just need dice. Okay, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> and with my first of two attacks, I'm going to shove this big man back into the grease. Okay. Yes! <laughs> so I just need you to roll real bad. Just do that. <laughs> roll a real bad at a player. Yeah, kid. Uh, yeah, so I believe you need to roll to hit if you're shoving, if you're using the shove attack thing. Uh, let me double check so I'm not being crazy. Uh, you can uh, oh, it's the all right. If your multiple attacks, yeah, your attack action it replaces one of them. Dee, dee, dee. Uh, instead, make an attack roll. Uh, instead of making an attack roll, you make an athletics uh, contested. So, uh, athletics versus athletics, I, I believe. Come on, that's oh. crap. That's real bad. Roll worse than that somehow. He does have advantage because he's raging. Don't say these things. <laughs> These double nat ones are still on the table. Double nat ones. I could do it. Still on the table. Yep. Oh, you did oh, like oh, a, Okay, you're not going to do it. Okay, that's one of your attacks. You, yeah. you could, of you, course, try again. Uh, uh, well, I need the other attacks. So... Okay. <laughs> and it's going to be disadvantage because shoving... I mean, be better at rolling bad. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to drop a sword to pull out a longbow. But I did not expect to use. It was just there because I'm a ranger. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna cast his bonus action in snaring strike. And snaring strike and then, looks and like then shoot at disadvantage. <laughs> and then shoot at disadvantage. Let's go. Everybody, pray for a second. <sighs> That's about right. No, it's a natural. I was thing. a crit over there. It was. I, All right. Uh, you, it's the next time you, I hit, though, so it you could have, you could have used ensnaring strike on your sword. I'm trying to ensnare the rat. Okay, got you. That's the one that runs away <laughs> like a little bitch and probably doesn't have the strength <laughs> because I don't have a high DC. But he seems to be slippery, not muscly. This man is all muscle. Ensnaring strike <laughs> would be a waste of everyone's time. This is the plan. Yeah. All right, those are all the actions oh and bonuses God. I have today. Thank you for attending uh, my Noel's lecture, How to Fail in Six Seconds. Oh, no! We will see <laughs> if I can give a more positive lecture in the ne- coming round. Oh, I'm so sorry. Helicotla, you are up. It's part of the fun. Oh, you're muted, by the way. I don't know if that's on purpose. Uh, it, I don't know. Uh, so... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Okay, anyway. So, um, I'm trying to save my spell slots for healing or smites, so I'm just going to 
hit the man next to me. <laughs> what did I do? I know. Not, I, know. <laughs> I know what you mean, but it almost sounds like, fuck you, you threw you me mean? wrong. <laughs> no, uh, she, yeah, she's going to uh, hit Bert. One, two, I don't think those hit. 23 hits. The 23 hits, absolutely. 23 hits. All right, rolling the damage on that one. That is a four points of damage. Uh, you take half because you're still raging, so four points of damage. Oh, yeah, four uh, And let's see. None of my smites undo this, unfortunately. Um, but just as an FYI, well, uh, no. All right, so that was my action. Uh, did I do Harness Divine Power yet? I think I might have. Uh, to get your spell slots back? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. And I can't do it again. All right. Yeah. So that's fine. That's done. I only get it once. If, if I do. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave that for now. Okay. Right. Uh, so you're staying there? Uh, oh, uh, mm. I can't. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay there. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> you know, it's bad when you ask your player a question and they make noises like you're hurting them. <laughs> like actively. Uh, all right. That's the end of your turn, which brings us back to uh, Bert. You did take the damage. I see that. Good. Uh, roll me another 1d2. Um, why, why, you Nola, why are you down in the booth? Why are you down in the booth? Nola's 1, 2 is Helcatla. You know, if you keep this up, Bert, you could TPK, and that is something. To put on like an achievement board. Seriously. Wait, Bert, did you roll your wisdom save? Oh, that's true. Damage, yeah, damage. I forgot last round. Go He's ahead. within my aura this time. Oh, Do you consider shit. him an ally? Uh, confusingly, pretty yes. specifically, not trying um. to kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. It's up to I mean, Like, yeah. I, if you if you do, then absolutely, he gets that wisdom save. Yeah. So they get a wisdom save at the end of the turn and not when they take the damage? They gotta take a Wait, lot of on. damage. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me make sure that That's that what I'm asking, yeah, correct. Because no. they, they definitely get the damage thing. That is correct. Um, but let me go look at the, the verbiage for my thing. Also, I'm just gonna post aura protection just so everybody can Oh yeah, it. no, I'm, you're all set, girl. Don't worry okay. about it. Yeah, I know. I know that oh, one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's when he takes that certain amount of damage at the moment. You were not wrong about the... Something has happened, essentially, is what I'm saying, unfortunately. So he does not get to roll it at the moment. So the, the damage needs to hit a certain number. Um, but, uh, but not at the end of his you, turn, either? Nope. Not right now. Okay. Initially, it was. You are correct. Uh, but as... As Anderson and I do, things just as things happen. Uh, so there's a reason why it has changed. Uh, but go ahead and roll your 1d2. 1d2, one sec. Uh, trying to throw some cheese, kid. Again. Yeah. That's Helcatla again. But go ahead and roll your attacks. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so he doesn't but, get to roll? Okay. No. Vogli, your aura of protection is plus five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so my charisma modifier is yeah. not. That's big old Sorry. miss. That's yeah, big old miss. Fuck yeah. One more. One more. Nice. Okay. Yes. That misses, misses as well. All right. Two misses on Hellcatla. Um, by the way, Joe, that, if I do get a TPK this way, that's not the way I want a TPK. <laughs> I, don't I, don't way, I don't think it's the way anyone wanted a TPK. I have been TPK. brainwashed as multiple barbarians. I've never taken out a whole team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking out a chunk of a team. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, go That's it. the end of your turn. Um yes, that is. Uh Karen, you are up. Uh the the little the rastard, as Maya had called him, is uh oh, yeah. scurrying his way towards you. What how does he look? He doesn't look good. He does not look great. Th does he look like he's coming toward me? to engage me in combat. He, uh, give me an insight check, actually. Uh, he does look aggressive, yeah. but I'm gonna see if you can, like, see exactly what he is, his plans are right now. Nice. Very nice. Uh, 
the two of you are on a narrow ledge. Uh, he's approaching you with the attempts to kind of push one of you off and kind of seeing where he's looking as you look down. Um, on the bottom part of this wall, there do seem to be those invisible rats running against it again. So you can figure out that he looks like he's trying to get another one of you under the influence of the rat. Influence of the rat. Um, of the rat. Um, Karen's tired. Karen is so tired of this man. Um, she's going to walk forward just calmly get into melee with them. Um, just like, and try to just like grab him and grapple him. Um, so I'm pretty sure that is in contested athletics versus their acrobatics or something. Yeah, he gets to make a choice between acrobatics or athletics. Uh, but I think for you, it has to be acro athletics. Yes. Words are hard. Uh, <laughs> athletics, yeah. Uh, so his he's going to go acrobatics because he's a squirrely motherfucker. Ooh. Yeah. Why are you rolling so high? That was a natural 17 plus 12. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, plus 12. That is not good odds for me. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to use the second, because that's that's an attack action, right? A grapple attack is an attack. It's one of your attacks. So okay. you still have, like, if you have multiple attacks, which you do, it would just take the place of one of those. Yeah, I'm going to see, like, how squirrely they are and just... Yeah, maybe instead of like, no, nah, we're not, we're not doing any fancy stuff. We're just going to try to hit them with the baseball bat. Um, <laughs> so, I like you try to grab them, and then yeah, that, hits. <laughs> that absolutely hits. Oh my god, that's hilarious! Oh shoot, I didn't mean one-handed. I meant two-handed. Um, that's okay. Yeah. So I'm going to so roll click the, one of these. Yeah. But huh. obviously, that's we're using the roll from the other one. So you're okay. You you're can good, just you're hit good. that for damage. Right. Just get that out of your system, girl. You're good. Uh, <laughs> Nine points of damage. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, uh, oh, so and I'm a monk. Nine. So I can use my bonus action here um, yeah, for another unarmed strike. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and we're gonna. This music is Ooh. crazy. Come on. It is. Finding a bunch of rats in a magic sewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that misses, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that. I think that Karen's like just waking up from a nap. And also, like, I think Karen really like told the party hey I'm not gonna be doing anything if we get into a fight I'm gonna need everybody else to step up uh, and she just like saw a arrow fly like mm -hmm. elsewhere like Noel like tried to do the shove thing and just like knowing that Noel is one of the people that was like we gotta push forward she's She's like looking sideways over there, like, and is a little bit distracted. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, we that is the turn. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, it is his turn once again. Uh, he's going to use all three of his attacks to try and push you against the wall uh, with the rats below. So these are contested rolls. He has to use athletics. You can use your acrobatics or athletics, whichever you prefer. So this is his first attempt to push you over. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh, all right. Very, very nice. Uh, that's the second. first. Here comes the second. Okay, not a good one. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. One last attempt. Oh, oh shit. shit. Dude, what Come on, girl. the oh. F? Come on, girl. <sighs> Remember, you do have inspiration, unless it was already used. I don't remember. Yeah, someone, I, I do have inspiration, but I'm. I don't want to use it here. 
uh, I will. <laughs> so uh, I will take the shove um, and fall gracefully to the ground yes, uh, where there is damage. water and rats. Kara's going to be so mad. Uh, go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw as the invisible rats kind of run over you for a moment. Oh boy. Wisdom. Karen is wise, but not like trained wise. Uh... Mm. Not enough as Karen's eyes go red. Um, as this starts to kind of take over your eyes, you got to you were seeing the rats along the walls in much clearer detail. Uh, and not only are some of them fully red furred, but some of them, most of them, uh, seem to have golden helmets uh, along their faces. Uh, but you are currently down there at the moment. Uh, and oh, is that I your... see that for a second before. <laughs> nah. Um. Yep. Just saying, nope, this is not this is not my ministry. This is not how I'm living my life. Um, I grab my holy symbol and I'm like, Lord, um, I'm too old for this. Uh, and I am. I am. Uh, so that's. I love it. So, uh, Merp, you see just kind of like a splash on the other side of the wall. And like, you can see because you're kind of teetering on this. Um, and you do see Karen unmistakably kind of up against the rats for a second. They kind of run over her. Uh, and for a moment, the eyes go red. And then you see her clutching and then kind of snap out of it. Uh, thankfully, your friend's uh, mind is intact. Uh, and he's going to finish the rest of his turn by kind of running up to you. Oh, not there. There. Uh, but that's the end of his turn. And Merp, you are up. Uh, yep, yeah, that's this is exactly where Merp wanted to be. Uh, we're going to. <laughs> uh, I've never gotten in a fucking round where I can actually do what I wanted to do. It's always some horseshit. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Uh huh. Um, I love you. I hurt you. Uh, as a bonus action. All right, so you can f off, you smelly little rat. Um, where am I going? Uh, fight words. Oh, God. I can't get that far. oh wait, no, I'm a kobold. Can I just jet? Am I thinking? Am I? Ah, oh, no, I'm thinking of Plek. Um, I can't that. tell you how many times I almost called you Plek today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's like, what? It's a small and green. Shit. That's racist. Oh man, uh, I think it was also because I had uh, Claus and Venom like twice before I had this again. So I'm like, he's Plek right now. <laughs> uh, and then. Here you professions bonus. Okay, I can use that again, but uh craftiness for where to Okay, yeah, he's just gonna um he's just gonna real quick like clack the heels of his boots and bamf uh 15 feet using his uh boots of the winding path and oh. uh not be here. Um <laughs> That's the goal. So, so I think not. mathematically, that is the furthest way you can get from this thing. So that's where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. um, sure. That's his bonus action. He's going to turn around and fire the radiant weapon at uh, that lovely rat who keeps trying to bite him. He doesn't appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yep. So actually, which one's better? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I think this one also, is. Also, uh, Merp, you are like almost chest deep in water. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Minners, Minners, I thought you wanted to move Merp here. That's 20 feet. He can't. That's, yeah, he can only do 15 feet. Oh. Yeah. From where he was, that's as Dang. far as he can go. All right, never mind. Sorry. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the fact checking. Um, come on, give me a non dookie roll. Is that a one? There's one. No, the one. Where? Oh, so to, to, for damage, I was like, that's not a one. That's a 16. Yeah, that's us the king, sorry. man. Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Uh, that brings him down to. Uh, hey, that's seven uh, more than I did last turn. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that. And then I have my movement. Uh, so that because that's just mm -hmm. a bonus action, and I'm no longer being carried around. Uh, can I climb? Give me one sec. I, I, I'm yeah, super rusty with kobolds. Um, other rats go, on the like, walls. 
There are rats on that wall. Uh, you can, like, walk up to it and not touch it. Much like Helcatlo was, like, trying to reach for him there. Like, you can interact around it. It's just, rats like, if you're pushed the against it, then that's... Uh, not the... No, not those vertical walls. Just the, the wall uh, up against the backside, this side. This is rats. This is not rats. This is not rats. Okay. This is um, not rats. No rats here. <laughs> excellent. Uh, let me just double check real quick. I played so many damn characters. You forget which one can do what. Uh, yep. Uh, move speed. I don't think I have a. I'm gonna try and help everyone's visualize visualizing where the rats are. It's not fire, but this is the first thing I picked up. So fire. That is you, you carry on with your turn. I'm just gonna make fire walls for all of the rat walls, so you guys have a reference at least. Yeah. Uh, climbing is what half your movement. I believe so. It's difficult terrain technically. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm to. gonna. He's gonna run up and climb up this wall and hop okay. up here. I think that's the maximum amount of movement he can get. Okay. Uh, puts him in range of his teammates and his enemies. Sure so that is the yeah, end sure of is. Merp's turn. Sorry about that. Look at my okay. weird things. Okay, that brings us to Noel while I'm doing some weird rat wall stuff. So it is your turn. Come on, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was so sad. Well, I'm in a pickle because I got this guy all up in my business and I don't want to hurt do. him, but I can't let all him right. just keep swinging. Lock him up. Do what you gotta do, man. Right. Yeah, but more importantly, I burned one of my precious, precious spell slots on Ensnaring Strike, which is worthless on your mountainous <laughs> figure. Yeah. So and here's that. Here's what I'm gonna do. Kick him in the nads. I'm going to what hope. Idea? I'm gonna move over there. Mm -hmm. I'm foolish to hope, but hope I shall. Hope the thing with feathers, my friend. Uh, he is going to <laughs> opportunity attack you. Yeah. All right. So it's, it's fine. Ring, ring. One second up before you uh, nice. multi class fighter, right? You got that parry coming. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right now. Uh -huh. Hold on. What? Well, here's here's a question. It, it, it's irrelevant. Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't hit. <laughs> here's a question. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you, you circumvented the need. You know what? Oh. Even if you won't roll low when I ask you to, you've been doing it the rest of the time, and I appreciate you for it. I appreciate uh -huh. that you appreciate me. Thank you for that. I and even if you weren't rolling low, I'd appreciate you anyway. But now I don't have disadvantage, so now I can shoot this rat. I mean, I'm still me, so I rolled a nine. But does fourteen hit? His AC is fourteen. <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> So that's uh, what, is, what is it? Oh, I forgot. He's a, he, I get favorite enemy. <laughs> oh yeah. Rat. I haven't been doing damage to him for a minute. Uh, uh, you actually get it because of the fiend as opposed to the beast, but it still counts. Thirteen yeah. points of damage. I'll take it. And then oh. uh, I gotta. I ensnared strike so long ago that I will reshare what do. So he has to make a strength save. It's real oh, fucking right. low. Mm hmm. He's so he's not terribly weak, but he does not have proficiency in his strength saving throw. So uh crit fail. Put the crit fail out. Yes! <laughs> Fuck it, nerd. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So his he's ass so is straight. restrained. Let's go. His ass is gonna sit uh, there and his ass is gonna take it. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Let's uh, go. So That's he's awesome. restrained. At the start uh -huh. of his turn, damage will happen. We'll deal with that when we deal with that. Uh, mm -hmm. He can use his action. He has to burn his whole action to get out of that. To get out. Otherwise, his Very ass nice. can't move. All right. Very all nice. Right. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you do an awesome throw your friend at an enemy and it doesn't quite work out. And sometimes <laughs> the enemy rolls real low on the ensnaring strike and you get to feel better about it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What oh, a great fucking oh. <laughs> This is an advantage because he's restrained. Excuse me. Correct. You have a I advantage. forgot to click the button. That, I'm sorry, that was me excusing my own mistake, not like interrupting. Like, excuse me. I was like, that could be taken as very rude, but it wasn't intended to be. 12 more damage. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, make sure I put him at the correct one. Yeah, he's, he's looking hurt. He's wrapped up right now and just, <laughs> just barely on his feet. Uh, what a All fucking right. turn. I'm going to draw All another right. arrow and then remember that I left my sword in the water and worry about that later. <laughs> Correct. Uh, is that the end of your turn? That's it. That's it. I'm good. 
Very nice. Helkatla, you are up. Can I try and not knock Bert prone again? Uh, sure. Are you, you trying to do a shove attack, or do you have something that you're going to be using? I don't have a particular ability for it, which is why I'm kind of okay. asking you. So what what course, will you yeah. allow? Uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to show you this. This is just like basic rules, uh, which is not me being like, read the stuff. I'm just making sure you know this exists. Uh, if you it scroll was. all the way you to the bottom. Attitude. <laughs> I like, fuck you. No, no, it's good. Oh. Um, it's also... It's also to make sure that, you know, if I fuck something up, you guys can call me out as well. So like, these are always in the rules and references. And this also is like for all my campaigns, I try and make sure I have basic rules available for everybody. Um, so at the very bottom, the shoving thing, basically what you can do is you can substitute one of your attacks. Um, so the, you attack twice, but you can try to shove someone twice instead, if you wanted, you don't have to, okay. it's up to you. And if you do, it's a contested uh, check. So you have to use athletics, but your target can use either athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics, okay. Uh, okay, so she's gonna try and, you know, uh, do two shoves. And just before she does it, she looks right into Bert's eyes to try and see right if she sees him behind you know the the wrathful look that she's seen this whole time and she says bert wake up and then she ah! and then she pushes just shoves uh, him that's a fucking knife in the heart block <laughs> i know it was oh all right uh go ahead and hit your athletics and bert use whichever you prefer Athle uh tell me if i hit the right one is that the right one yeah. That looks correct. It's loading, but yeah. All right. Okay, so, so you got that. you're telling me but, I can use my, my dex here? Like, no, uh, I can't. You, we have to use whatever you're best at, because he's going to be... I, but I, the other thing no. is, your rage dropped, because you hadn't been uh, damaged, or you didn't do damage. You oh, missed no. a lot. So, yeah, you missed quite a bit. So <laughs> if you do got use it. athletics, it's a flat roll. Got it. Damn it! Yeah. Okay, uh, one more time. I'm going to try it again. Yeah, you're like, mm -hmm. you push against him and nothing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, stop. Okay, one more. One more, one, one more. more. Come, on, come on. Left roll and the 11, you bitch. Come on. Yes! Hey! <laughs> All right, so you push him back. Uh, I believe it's five feet, right? Yeah. Okay, so five feet. So he's back in, I'm assuming, you're pushing him that way? Or do you want him in a different spot? Uh, uh, yeah, way. pushing him Let's into Greece to make it difficult to for him to get up, I guess. I don't know, that's her logic. Okay. What is uh, her panic again? Uh, uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, and this still is an advantage just because of your danger sense, but uh, okay. roll that to see if you get knocked on your ass again. Dexterity and saver throw. Saver check. Saving throw. Dexterity oh. saving throw. Okay, okay. Oh, I think that's your, eight, your DC, Beats right? it, beats it. That's my DC, yeah, God damn it. That's exactly it. You shove him back and he just kind of wobbly stands on his feet, but does get shoved back. Um, all right, Hakala, those were your two attacks. Uh, you still have your bonus action, any movement. Oh, I thought uh, I thought that if I succeeded, the target would be incapacitated. Oh, she wanted me to knock prone. Yeah, to knock Oh, prone. I thought you were sorry. Shooting. Okay. I no, you're you're totally fine. That's it is all I mean. good. Okay. Uh, so okay, so you're trying to knock him prone. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You're you're good. So you are now prone. Um so you still have your uh, action or uh, bonus action and movement left. Uh, and I have nothing that undo un undoes. I have nothing that undoes. <laughs> nothing that undoes. I have nope. nothing that undoes. <laughs> Told the dead. No. Um. So. Uh, um. She's not gonna cluster, but she's going to on her movement. <laughs> Yeah, okay. She's going to move over a little bit to try and stay within Bert's range, but also try and get her aura <laughs> on as many people as possible. So sure. that, uh, and also between her and, and the rest of everybody else. So um, hopefully the aura helps when you make your wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait, he doesn't do that anymore, does he? No, nope. not at the end of his turn. You need to do a certain amount of damage. Ducks. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's my action bonus action bonus. Oh, okay, damn it. Okay. All right. Uh, that brings us to Bert. Actually, I think this is probably a good time for us to take a break because we're back at the top of initiative. Uh, okay. I kept meaning, meaning to announce that and I kept forgetting. I usually try and give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Um, but we'll take our 10-minute break right now. 
uh, at the top of this round. This is intense. I love you guys so much. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Uh, please join us for the conclusion of this uh, scrap. <laughs> Good. On the break, we can roll up our next characters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. We're not dead yet. I love you guys. Yeah. We'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, you're Wait, uh, ten minute break. You said. Uh, yeah.
as it goes. Hello, we are back. Uh, our break was a little bit shorter than usual because uh, everyone was back real quick. So here we are. <laughs> um, anyway, we will be getting back into this combat at the uh, top of the round, uh, which means our unfortunately mind controlled Bert is going to get us started. Once again, uh, you are prone, so you will take half of your movement to stand. Mm -hmm. um, Bert, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you're out of rage, right? I am out of rage. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you ain't got no more rages, so you can't. I, you can't I, rage I, no I more. got a box to give, apparently. Yes. Um. Yep. So, okay. Um. And the only person in range is Helcatla. So go I'm ahead. Not, and... Am I not rolling the one third? Yeah, okay. no, you're just right there. I mean, I don't want to nitpick, but I'm pretty sure it was Karen's turn. Like, I don't know what we're doing, drawing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I was like, ah, oh, shit, did I fuck up? What's no. that? Oh, hey. No. <laughs> hey, Karen, what's wrong with you? Okay. I'm oh. just uh, slinging yeah. some Gouda. <laughs> Get the cheese out there. Fuse doesn't like Gouda for some reason. I think it's delicious. Anyway, Correct. I'm not, a, I'm not a Gouda fan, but go ahead and roll your text. Uh, who's right there? Who hates the Gouda? Anyway, let's go. Nothing wrong with Gouda. Havarti or Munster would be better, but no. Wait, weirdly, I like Munster. Six. That misses? Munster's Again? Uno mas, uno mas. I like uh, Brew. 17? 17 just misses. Just misses. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, nice whiffs around. That's the end of your turn. You're gonna, yes, you're it gonna, is. Okay. You're going to chill out there. Uh, Karen, it is your... Wait, wait, can, can, I enter, can I enter the oil? Uh, he wouldn't at the moment. You're mind controlled, but you're just attacking. So unless that uh give you an advantage of some kind, then you wouldn't. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, exactly. but okay. Karen, it is your rage induced turn. <laughs> um, Karen is wet. Karen is touching. Karen was touching for a second. Mm -hmm. Many rats, and it was mm -hmm. gross. Um. Karen is going to try to high jump up to this ledge, if mm -hmm. that's possible. Because uh, of your boots, I don't think you. It's not even an issue. I think you could just right. always do that. So you're no, you're good. Five, and then up, uh, mm -hmm. right on here, mm -hmm. and and we're gonna see this man restrained, tied up. Uh, and wriggling around. And um, to be down. Karen, Karen is shivering a little. Like a little bit of it is just like being like wet, being like her fur, like getting covered in water. A little bit of it is just rage of this small rat man that tr keeps trying to pick a fight with her. Um. And we're going to make three attacks at advantage uh, and just beat mm -hmm. the shit out of this man <laughs> with, this with a baseball bat. Yep. Um, yeah, that hits. That just hits. Uh, and that hits as well. Okay. Let's go. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. You you're welcome to take it, but you did not need the third strike as after yes. your first two strikes, he's knocked unconscious. Oh. Uh, well, she would have kept hitting. I feel no. like she would have. I'm just letting <laughs> No, no, no. She would not have like taken the bonus action strike. Uh okay. she would have like Done done a hit with the baseball bat, done a second hit uh over top of the head to just like knock this person out. And she's she's gonna she's gonna wanna stomp on this person. But first rule of like stomping people out, um, you don't kill them. You kill them, the cops get involved. Uh, <laughs> she she is angry, um, but her instincts and her street smarts have taught her uh, to let this knocked out person rest for a little while. Uh, mm -hmm. She's going to put, put her baseball bat in her bag. Um, 
and probably Karen. scream. Probably scream. Uh, she's cool. gonna scream. She's uh -huh. wet. She still has like the last kick of anger in her that she can't like expel anywhere else. She's gonna scream, uh, and that's her turn. <laughs> Uh, Karen, as you knock out this <laughs> rat person, essentially, uh, the ensnaring strike still stays in place. It is just like wrapped up in this and just sort of keels over on top of that thin sort of narrow ledge. And the way it does, it kind of like flops on both sides. So it's not kind of falling to one end or the other. Uh, but just as you're kind of having that moment, um, you're starting to see it kind of change in front of you. Um, it looks like some of the fur is starting to recede into its skin. Uh, you... It's currently happening, so you don't know exactly when it's going to stop or anything like that. It's just that towards the end, you're like, oh, because you can also kind of like hear it happening. Um, but that is the end of your wonderful turn. Um, my boy's down, so he doesn't get a turn. Uh, Murp, you are up. <laughs> uh, Technical question is... here. Sure. Is he dying? He is making death saves that I am secretly rolling. Okay, and would I, without having the opportunity to take any actions to scrutinize, see mm -hmm. that he's becoming unratted? It, I, I don't need to. It's just what do what information does Noel have? Um, you were looking in his direction because you shot him. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would say that you you can see that something's happening. I don't know if you would know it's like unratting, okay. but you know because like, at the start of his turn, boy takes d six. So. <laughs> Sure. That interacts with death saves. <laughs> I'm just determining whether I think it's worth dropping. And right now he's demon okay. shape shifting. I'm gonna leave it up for a round. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so roll me your d6 uh, for the damage, <laughs> right? <laughs> just because I want to see what it's gonna be. Paper the die and the d6. Wardrobe. Respect. Okay. Good. Very nice. All right. So at the start of his turn, uh, the the. <laughs> the damage kind of seeps into his body, but he's still kind of like moving unconsciously a little bit. Uh, but Merp, you are up. Merp is looking down and sees the weird shit going on over there, but Karen's not swinging. So he's Merp, <clears throat> and then just begins to fire his two rounds at uh, Bert, who is menacing with his huge axe against poor Hilkatla. So um, he is going to load a cricket round. And fire <laughs> that at uh, the first shot. Um, that is dicey positioning. <laughs> Let's go. Is it 18 yeah, hits. hits. And 18 hits. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to add that to the damage. Uh, oh, the man rolled a crit on that thing. Okay. Yeah, you rolled the max damage uh, on that you one. You need to make a, uh, hold on. You need to make a strength saving throw. Let me just, is. You uh, need to make one too. I do too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, just the flat uh, strength saving, right? Attack, yeah, one second. Yeah, you're not rage anymore. Um, and then also, what kind of damage is it? It's piercing. Okay, but he's uh, not raging no more. Uh, yeah. Yes, good point. If that's twenty damage. It is that's a wisdom save. Exactly. Um, um, does do you push him back at, as well? On a hit, yeah. Save? On a hit, it automatically pushes him back five feet. So he okay, doesn't so even he make a save. A he gets bit. pushed back five feet. I have to make a strength save. <laughs> uh, and Bert, roll a wisdom saving throw with a plus five. Okay. 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 Uh, Basla, give me your energy. I know you're giving it to me right now in game, but for real. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hello, <laughs> Bert. You look like you're getting stood up. She's like, don't touch me. Hello, Bert. Hey. <laughs> so that was just a strength check. I don't know if you needed a saving throw. I don't know if it's uh, a good Yeah. Play. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I don't okay. have these. I have nothing okay. to. Rolling with them. Good. Come on. There it is. It's a you get a plus five, oh, which is unfortunately just short. We'll oh. be fine. It's good. <laughs> you are still red-eyed, but uh, you are not feeling great. Um, Merp, that was one shot, right? You get two? I do. Uh, if he still sees the red in his eyes, he's still going to fire. Because uh, okay. you're too dangerous otherwise. That's a five, 14. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Does not hit. Yeah, his AC is seventeen. And at the end of his action, bonus action, uh, Merp is going to Merp over here. Merp. Um, He's going to Merp over here. 
And it's just gonna show yeah. like he's gonna be like just like looking like burnt. Yeah. Burnt. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, All right. right. That brings us to uh, no. All right. I'm gonna come over here, and I've learned to dice and then narrate because if I try and narrate, the dice make me look foolish. Yeah. <laughs> I will first do one of these. That's. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. Seventeen is AC seventeen. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> when expedite that invite, my friends. Um, I mean, <laughs> team. I guess okay. it was a... in, in all honesty, Bert has missed an incredible amount of times as well. So he I got a like... neg five. He did. He did. However, <laughs> he also said quite a bit as well. But, mathematical equivalent yeah. to disadvantage over there. I know. I know. All right. Uh, uh, is that your turn? Do I have bonus things? I might have I bonus know. things. Let me look. That's if I dash, which I didn't do. That's if I hit, which I didn't do. No. No, that's it. Or <laughs> that's nope. I would pick up my sword, but he's standing on it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly where it was. Exactly. Um, okay, that brings us to Hakatla. You are up. I have no idea what to do. Um, okay. Uh, what you do is you take your hammer and you bash his brains in. I was going to do that with my face, but I missed. Yeah, she really oh, yeah you need to land. Okay, I was like, yeah, I can shoot. Never mind. She really doesn't want to do this. You kill your friend. It's okay. Well, thank you for it. Kill him and fix it in post. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she's going to... Oh, I hate this. Okay, she's going to take her two swings on, on Bert. I hate this so much. I, I know, it. I know. I too. hate it. Okay. <laughs> I oh, missed! Doesn't matter. Oh, 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 <laughs> you can still kill us all, Bert. Oh, hey. What is happening? <laughs> Engage the rage. I mean, I know you can't, but do it. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Any bonus actions or movements or? I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, uh, that's an action. Um, no, I'm good. Uh, I appreciate the dice uh, demonstrating exactly what I feel. Uh, yep. <laughs> Correct. That's, uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Bert, it is your turn. I need another 1D2. Okay. So Katla is one. Noel is two. Thank you for the transparency here. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah, of course it's going to be me. It's never it's moved away attack. from her. Okay. Go ahead and make your attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm now I'm in in, in block leaf position. You're out of Yes, I now we're gonna start quitting. That's a, you're gonna turn the tide. The uh, trauma. It's minus, it's minus five. It's minus five. It's minus five. The trauma. She has she has good AC. All right. Good. That's a good one. One more. The on. trauma is strong. Six. <laughs> this is two. God damn, this is two. <laughs> we're just we're never gonna get this fight. Bad rolls. Man. Never, never gonna get this fight. Why are our rolls right so bad? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The last seven rolls, the highest was a nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> like this team is not rolling very well. Uh, Bert, that's the end of your turn. Karen, <laughs> you are up. It it is just a a windmill factory on the other side. Everyone's. Swinging and missing over there. I'm thinking of like first, like just like blindly swinging because he's like forty fucked up from the cricket. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my my movement is fifty five feet. I'm gonna nice. walk around, get like a good view of just Helcatla looking really bad, Bert looking almost like knocked out as well uh and karen is going to reach into her bag of holding and take out uh two of her daggers that she keeps on her uh because you gotta stay sta strapped in these streets yeah, um, well yes yeah, one <laughs> dagger and one team. dart 
Uh, mm -hmm. And she's gonna roll to hits. Oh, I think I'm dead. Oh, yeah, that hits yeah, absolutely. I mean, hits. Minimum damage. You 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 done did it. Oh yeah. Yep. Um. <laughs> That's okay. I have spells less for healing. <laughs> uh yeah, he, yeah yep he's certainly out uh and again he's not raging so he's he's this out the first time um, had a character that's been down what, what what happened now where uh karen would you um, like to describe where you hit him with this karen is going to glare uh at the minotaur um <laughs> and just like take out a dagger like like fling it up in the air, grab it like by the blade, and just bean it. Uh, and have it so that the handle just hits Bert in the temple. Uh, and Bert's going to thump, uh, and fall <laughs> down. Um, in a very very like funny fashion. Um, Unfortunately, and, uh, the accent, he's dead. Oh, no. don't say that. It was he's not going to. It was a non-lethal, non-lethal thing. Yeah. She glares at uh she like doesn't break eye contact with Noel this entire time. Uh and then she starts making her way back uh to the rat. Um uh, like it's she doesn't have that much movement, so she's gonna have to wait until next turn, but she's gonna try to like stabilize this person so they don't have to explain or disappear a body um, and hide it from the cops. Uh, and that is Karen's turn. Okay, we are officially out of initiative round um, with both of the uh, attackers uh, unconscious at the moment. Oh, so no. Karen, I already know what your, your intention is, so you can go ahead and roll a medicine check. And then as that's happening, I'm gonna have the rest of the team, uh, Helkatla, Noel, and Merp have a moment to do whatever they would like. Well, it depends. As I look over my shoulder, be like, "What did I do?" Uh, if do I see the rat doing suspicious rat things to, to keep my <laughs> murder vines on him, or do I go, "Oh no, I should remove those." Um. Okay. So, and just watching in the time that kind of takes for Carrot to like move away and then come back, um, you're starting to notice the the fur is very much receding into the skin, and the hands are kind of like retracting back into what seems to be regular humanish hands. <laughs> um, All at right. the moment, not sort of full rat. Uh, it does seem to be reverting to a more humanoid state, from what you can see. All but right. it's not instant. It probably will take like twenty or so seconds before it's done. Okay, but if I have an inkling that this might be a person mm -hmm. in there, I'll, I'll like if it's a demon, whatever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Sometimes your job is to heal the wound and some on 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 an injured animal, and sometimes you you put it down. So I was ready for that. But if it looks like it might be a people in there, I'll drop the vines. I'll drop concentration. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, you dropping that, uh, thankfully, no more damage done to the body. Uh, but in your medicine check, uh, Karen, which was very nice, um, you do manage to kind of stabilize this body, uh, even as the vines are kind of pulled away. Uh, and you're starting to see uh, sort of darker tanned skin, uh, what looks like kind of shorter dreads kind of sprouting from the head, the tail receding, uh, all of the rat-like qualities are slowly starting to disappear. And you see yourself kind of over a man about uh, maybe 30, 40 years old, uh, likely a half elf of some kind, starting to like take form in your hands, strangely enough. But that does take a little bit of time. Uh, not a lot. And Helkala, just so you know, that takes 10 minutes. So you would have to sit still for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, when it's done, uh... Karen's going to leap the chasm, get back to uh, everybody else, uh, and just announce to the group, I am taking a nap. She's going to turn, walk to the other end of this like dry platform, uh, and just like sit down like in a circle you know how like cats do she's not like sleeping but she's like mm -hmm. very much like curling up limbs like mm -hmm. into her tucked into her body uh and that's that's what she's doing okay 
Uh, so you're up on that top level, right? Okay, gotcha. Like over here. I, ima I imagine not against the right wall. I'm not going to worry about that. I know she knows better. So you're you're just over there. Um, okay, so for the rest of you, uh, what would you guys like to do? There is a unconscious Bert at your feet. Um, Merp is tying him up. Um <laughs> Pretty much immediately, what? feet first. Why um, the fuck is your character kinky, my dude? You were just trying to murder us. Someone is team. <laughs> That's a good precaution. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> Merp is like, currently yeah. covered in axe wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You are getting tied up. <laughs> uh, and then once he's done yep. tying him up, he'll try to stabilize him using uh, his healer kit. Um, okay. But only after he is like thoroughly hog tied. Gotcha. And I mean it too. Like like his hands are he's on his belly, hands are tied into his feet. <laughs> like he ain't going anywhere. All right. really out of um, the water. For those who are there and not casting, which I guess is just Noel and Merp, uh, you guys can roll me a perception or investigation check. Uh, whichever you prefer. Perception or investigation, you say. Oh boy, Correct. definitely not perception. God, for a ranger professor, I'm not good at either of those things. We'll see what the dice no, you're just your attention is kind of in between everything at the moment, and it's hard to even just focus on one thing. Um, Merp, however, is like crawling all over this guy, making sure he is thoroughly hogtied. Uh, and in doing so, uh, Merp, one of those times you're kind of maneuvering the body as best you can because he is very large. Um, you do when you're kind of moving his head, hear a sort of like metallic clunk uh, when you're moving him and looking at him. There doesn't seem to be any metal other than the axe that he carries. But you're sure you heard that. Merp. Um, he's gonna like try to like do a raccoon thing where he's just like handing the water. Like, is there anything in here that I can't see? Uh, yeah, <laughs> just like, um, so, uh, so just the water around him? Like where the basically where the sound, the sound. came from. Gotcha. Be careful thrashing about. I haven't retrieved my weapon. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's gonna go a little less, a little more gentle this time. Uh, in kind of splashing around in the water and even uh, around his head a little bit, uh, one of your hands absolutely blush brushes across something that feels sort of metallic, like a helmet um, around uh, Bert's head. But you don't see one. However, you can fully form your hands around like a dome-like shape around his head. What the fuck? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, I gotta have something in here I could just pour on his head. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Lots of water. <laughs> uh, we could drown him if we want now. <laughs> Did we actually get him stabilized? I want to make sure he's not dying. He is stabilized. Yeah, he used to I, mean, I guess he was non lethal, so. but still. Yeah. I also want to get him out of the water he could easily drown in if he can't stand up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, we got two uh, two big two strong people over here. Can you get him out? Uh, uh, yeah, he's. So. I, have al I assume I have a dye in alchemy supplies, right, or some kind of oil or something. I could like a dye would actually be in a gambler's kit. Uh, I, <laughs> I genuinely was like, "What?" Yeah, I I would say you probably have some kind of pigment you can play. Yeah, with. and I'm just gonna like dub it around yeah. to see if it like forms something. It absolutely starts to. Uh, what color do you think this pigment is? Uh, knowing Merp, probably Pink. green. Oh. Okay, green. So um, you all kind of, well, all probably mostly just being Noel because Helkala is focusing on her spell. <laughs> but uh, you can probably peek at it and look, but you're focusing at the moment. Um, but you guys start to watch as um, a helmet starts to kind of take shape um, with that green pigment that he has. Uh, it seems kind of ornate and intricate and kind of beautiful. Uh, it kind of comes down to a point in the front of his face and then just kind of arcs back and curls around his head. It doesn't quite cover all of the back of his head, but it seems to kind of come into a point at the sides of his head, almost as though he had pointed ears. And just the dye and also being around a, a few of them a little bit, it seems vaguely rat-like in appearance. And even the front of it seems to kind of mimic that of like a rat nose and vaguely mimic uh the teeth also towards the front but you were able to kind of recognize the shape uh encompassing his head 
obviously I'd like to take it and put it on. <laughs> no. Uh, Merp's not, not even going to try to pry this off his head, but he's going to look at Noel like... Um, well, I don't know how or why you've manifested your helmet, but um, it's artfully done. <laughs> what was wasn't me? But no, I, I assumed you were doing something healing, but you then just drew around his face. I... <laughs> it was there when I got there. I was. I heard a oh, clank. An invisible yeah. helmet that you've. Yes, that makes much more sense. Um, well, yes, let's take it off of him. I don't. I assume that's why he was acting I'm assuming... well towards us. Most likely. Um, of either of you two, can either of you read Abyssal? Uh, uh, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Let me hit this button that says language and see what's written there. Yep. Uh, there's Abyssal. I got it when I got Greater Fiend. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I learned that yesterday. <laughs> um, but yes, as you're looking over it, um, you can see that in the sort of, oh, it's toast. Hello. You do not <laughs> want to be already, here, do you? Yeah, he's already protesting. <laughs> Good, buddy. Oh, it's always nice to see toast or any kind of pet that comes around. Um, but as you're looking over it, Noel, especially as uh, Merp was like, can you take this off? Uh, as you're sort of getting closer to it, you can see that some of the details actually seem to be written in Abyssal. Uh, not only is it for aesthetic, but also seem to be words. Uh, and what you're able to sort of read, the first things you see are kind of repeated over and over again. And you see Devourer of Souls and Lords, uh, Lord of Shadows over and over and over again. Um, but one word does not seem to be repeated. Uh, and that seems to kind of be centered almost like right under the nose uh, design element on the helmet. Uh, and it reads Chitterick. Is that the word in Abyssal? No, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good question, but no, it reads Chitterick. <laughs> Chitterick, all right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, in the filigree of the helmet, uh, woven in or some... Repeated words. They seem to say, "Speak, friend, and enter." No, that's a that's a Lord of the Rings reference. Um, <laughs> well, devour of souls. That's unpleasant. Um, but also, Chitterick. Is that a name or a command word? Um, I'll just lean into the helmet and just <laughs> him Chitterick, and just see if it does anything. Because that's how you safely test magical items, kids. That's Accurate. Um, as On you someone say, else's head. <laughs> That's a good point. You haven't taken it off yet. So it's like, let's see what happens. Chitterick. <laughs> uh, but as you say the word and wait for a moment, the, the dye is still kind of like seeping into the edges and the details. Nothing happens. Uh, Bert is still there unconscious and no reaction from the helmet or Bert seems right. to come. You wink that off of there. Yeah. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, uh, interestingly enough, but it does come off. Um, almost as if there was like a sticky substance on the inside that just did not want to let go of his head. But being that he is unconscious and you have all the room in the world, it doesn't take full strength. It just takes a little bit of noticeable pull to take it off. Um, but you do manage to pull it free. I'm just going to like Again. triple check that I didn't pull out any hair or like scalp, so I don't have to explain that later. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, his head looks uh, untouched underneath. It looks All fine. right, good. Um, I have to keep an eye on that. I'm going to set it away from the water so the pigment doesn't run off. Okay. And then, we'll pay, and then I'm going to get him out the water so he's not at risk of drowning. Okay, we'll just drag him out. Yeah, that is not a just problem at all. move him kind of over there. And then I'm going to retrieve okay. my sword. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot to do right now. <laughs> Uh, no problem, no problem. Well, um, I'm just going to look at a ledge t t across the a gap there and go, there's a man. Um, I brought him over. Oh, you brought him over. Oh, yes, you did. Okay. I'm I sorry, you did. I did, not, I did not drag him over. You are correct. All right, well, we have to address this person who was recently a rat devil of some kind. Um, and... Well, I don't think we really have time for any napping, but I don't want to say that very loudly. Um, 
Karen has very good ears. I and know. Kisses. Um, <laughs> but um, you see her like start lifting up her leg and like grooming herself where like her, her entire leg, her legs are wet and her limbs are wet. She, she hates it. She's, she's bathing herself uh, with her tongue. Cause that that's what she does. Uh, she's, yeah, she turns and hisses at you when you say, "Not enough time for a nap." Like, um, before coming back to her stuff. It's just lives on the line. You indicate this guy. It's just again to everyone else. I have to just to face the fact that you can hear me, but I'm trying not to attack verbally. Yep. Um, but yeah, as. Uh... You know, Merp is tying up his second person. Uh, <laughs> uh, this does seem to be very much a half elf, uh, still in his pajamas, which kind of reformed over the body. Um, none of the damage that you guys have done seems visible on his body. He looks perfectly intact, if not a little wet, perhaps because of the uh, bringing him over from the other spot that he was in and moving around a little bit, but looks unharmed and unconscious at the moment. Um, and I will say, towards the end of uh, Merp tying this up, the 10 minutes has passed. So um, everybody uh, within, is that a 30 foot radius, I believe, um, gets uh, 10 points of healing from Helena. Yes. Um, and Which I also uh, imagine she was made sure that uh, Karen was close enough. So Karen, I'm not yes. going to have you roll or I'll like see whatever. You're, you're good. Yeah, you're so good. Uh, Kit, add, add 10 onto what you got. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, so, so Hokathla says to no one in particular, he lied. He lied before. He said that he slept fine, but he did not. Wait, you're, you're surprised the demon rat lied? No, not the demon rat. He lied. And she points at the man on the floor. <laughs> That's unusual. <laughs> um, also, as this is sort of happening, uh, Bert, you regain consciousness. Um, you have full memory of everything that had happened during that fight, but you recognize that you were, again, kind of like in that get out suck in, sunk in place and weren't oh, unable yeah. to, we, we to, Come on. to focus on what you were trying to do, but you saw everything happen. Um, you were unconscious for the helmet removal, but you felt it the whole time when you were fighting. But now it's gone, and you recognize but, that. But he, and you, but you are clear of mind. Mm -hmm, sorry, Heather. And you are awake. Okay. So I remember you said that he, he saw the rats wearing the helmets, right? Yep. And he was aware that he was wearing the helmet. Yes. You felt it, but you didn't see it, of course. Okay. You just Let me roll an intelligence there. check to see if he can connect one and two. That's really good for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think he would connect them. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. You're tied oh. up on the ground, but you're realizing something as you come to. <laughs> okay. In my mind, I was I was gonna be if if I, I I wrecked my I gotta tell you guys I wrecked my brain the whole two weeks like trying to figure out how the hell is he gonna react when he breaks out of this, you know? Mm. And so yeah, he would he'd be very very upset right now. He'd be like making the sound like of a wounded wounded animal, right? Oh. And I would try to do that right now, but I either it's going to be cringe or too much. I don't know. But yeah, the point is, you would just be very, very upset by this. Uh, and you see him thrashing on the ground. He's not trying to break free. He's just like trying to communicate that he's upset. Oh. Or, or at least he's communicating that on, you know, not, not on purpose. It's just it's what's happening. Oh, I assumed that when you sat up from waking up, you just snapped all the ropes on accident. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, I'm free. Uh, also, everybody watching, um, he opens his eyes and you see the regular, which is strangely uh, colorless eyes um, there rather than the red. So, I'm sorry, he has colorless, like, white eyes? Yeah, he does not have pupils. Mm -hmm. 
he I always he has always had that. That is not new. Uh, oh, okay, that's okay, just okay. that's just because of what he is. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? What I am? A human. Er yep. Yep, yep. But he is he is back to normal is is essentially yeah, the, okay. the important information here. <laughs> Bert, you're yeah. awake. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah. Sorry. And that's what he's doing right now. Yeah. I think on like hearing Bert like in some real like pain right now noticing that like Bert is has been like very like seriously mentally hurt from like the pain of like um uh, my body has been taken from me um I think Karen is going to like stop sulking in the corner <laughs> uh stand up walk to Noel uh and say, um, I told you if we got into a fight, I wouldn't have it. I told everybody here that if we were going to get into a little bit of a tussle, I would need to rest or I wouldn't be able to do much. Now we got into a tussle and people got real, real hurt. And I was relying on you to pick up the slack because you were the one that said, we got to go. Yeah? So next time we need a little nap, we got to have a plan if we just rush into things. Yeah? Because I... Do not want to die down here in the sewer where everything is watery and wet and there are rats on the walls. It's... Mm. I need to have a plan. Can you understand that, No. Mm. Well, the plan is always been to press on and investigate and deal with the issue. It's unpleasant, but there's a reason we're down here and the people apparently, in gesturing to this guy, turning into rats in their sleep are not. Yeah. You can either choose to be someone who charges in, or you can choose to be someone who doesn't want to fight. Neither is wrong, yeah. but lives are on the line. Yeah, we could we could charge in, but if we charge in, uh, and fight, obviously this guy was a minion. Uh, we're gonna die if we fight the person in charge, and if we die, nobody gets helped. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Because I need you to understand where I'm coming from if I'm going to continue into this place with everybody. If you need a rest, take a rest. But I will tell you that victory is measured in the defeat of your enemy, not in the survival of your allies. Not when the stakes are this high. <sighs> I'm a visitor here. But I understand the importance of this fountain, what it means to the citizens, and the danger present. Were we on a journey of my usual sort, fighting some beast in jungle, or more likely hunting it, tracking it for study? Well, then, survival of my allies is paramount. The stakes of defeat set the acceptable risk for victory. If you need a rest, take it. Mm. Because we cannot fail. Um, Eloquent as fuck. Yeah, Karen is looking at an old, like, very wide-eyed. Um, I will say I'm going to finish that. A s 
gingerly, because I don't know how you're going to react to it, I am going to place a hand on your shoulder with a kind smile. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I'm not ju- trying to tell you I'm judging you for resting. I'm like, saying I understand you need it. You, you know that scene in, uh, uh, you know that scene in uh, Thor Ragnarok where Thor's like, come on, Valkyrie, join the team, uh, and puts a hand on the shoulder and then a knife comes up right underneath. Um, that's, that's what happens. Um, she does not like your answer. Uh, mm. Is it from your answer that like, um, if people die, people die like we have to um do what we came here to do and karen doesn't really understand what we're here to do um she's just like right now very worried about getting back to where kids alive uh and was under the assumption that everybody else was like we have very different we're living Mm. yeah uh so Karen is going to like put put up a knife warning look as like the hand like hopefully like retracts from the shoulder. Uh <laughs> like the smile towards sad. the knife. Uh goes mm-hmm. to the corner and just like takes her takes her rest, but like eyes don't leave you from like for the rest of the short rest um and and that is what karen does oh. face you muted <laughs> Dubs came home and I was talking to him and the cat at the same time and I figured you guys didn't want to hear a lot of the like hello how's it going so I was I was muted. Anyway, um, it's towards the end of this interaction that uh, when the intensity sort of dies down into silence without the rushing water and dripping, uh, that everyone starts to realize that the half-elf, still bound, uh, seems to kind of be stirring to consciousness. And as everyone undoubtedly sort of looks in that direction, uh, you see a man just blearily opening up his eyes in stark confusion, looking over the three that are standing over him and slowly opening his mouth, (laughs) which first kind of falls agape. And he doesn't seem to attempt to move. So it's unsure, you're unsure whether he knows he's tired yet or not. (laughs) But as he kind of comes to and looks over everyone, you hear, um, this isn't my bedroom. I should hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, I don't that... have a lot of gold. No, no. We, we, um, you, we followed you down here, but you were not you. You were a rat. You were a very big rat. You might have been controlled by something else, just like him. He has the same thing that you do, because both of you attacked us, but he's part of our group. It's not oh. It's not your fault, Bert. Okay. Can, can I take a blood sample? And he's like taking out a syringe. No. Uh, and it's at that point you see him kind of struggle against the restraints <laughs> and then like look down and look back up. Uh, what, what What? do you want again? Uh, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm not going to tell you. You can say no. It's okay. I just, you know, we're trying to study this. Sure. I guess. Okay, I take right. it from your evident confusion. You don't recall being a massive rat creature. I'm... No? Are you sure? Well, some of us have the bites to prove it. Yes. You were quite large. <laughs> well, you're about the same size you are now, but you're quite large for a rat. I was a large rat creature. Oh, Jesus! 
<laughs> I feel like he's talking to Noel while you're taking blood out, and he doesn't even recognize it. <laughs> like, like, by the time you finish and turn around, he's still like, huh? <laughs> like, you already have a syringe full of blood. <laughs> um, uh, what were you saying? Did they check his head for the, for a helmet? I, I don't, unless someone said that, I did not hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Um, but he's sort of still looking over everyone. Okay, so I was a giant rat, and you followed me. Where are we? What is this? Um, We're in the sewers beneath Kimafe Kimane. The city doesn't have sewers. Uh, well, it's either that or we were transported here through a tunnel. We came down this way. <clears throat> okay. Is the uh, magic well system, hon? <laughs> um, I didn't know. And... Um, yeah, I think that uh, Karen is going to come over, like undo her claws uh, and swipe swipe away the restraints and bonds because it seems like this person is a person. <laughs> yeah, you're able to kind of cut them off, no problem. Um, but uh, ritual casting text magic. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, but yeah, you're able to kind of uh, release him from his bonds and you see him just sort of not a thank you. And so, um, what is I... your name? I I'm, I'm Hinga. Hello, Hinga. And then she gives him a hug. <sighs> I am I... Helpatla. Hello. Hello. He's <laughs> just like, mm. like stays just arms pinned to his side. <laughs> oh, this is uh okay. We oh, are very yeah, right. glad that you are alive and that you are well. When uh, I, I'm also glad I'm alive. Can I go home? Oh. Yes. We're... Well, we certainly wouldn't stop you. I don't know how feasible it is, but I'm happy to help however I can. Um, by chance, do you recall dreaming tonight? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting you asked that, I guess. Uh, same dream every night. Um, I, I, I see the infinite. <laughs> And uh, I follow what looks like a tail uh, running through the, the shadows into the water. Um, I, I dive into the water and it looks like the whole pole pool uh, of water is, is poisoned, I think. It turns like a purple or like a, like a deep color. Uh, it, I, I don't know. It went longer this time, I think. Mm. But I, it's a, it's the same dream I've been having for uh, like a month, I think. The tail? Uh, what kind of tail? Is it fluffy or skin tail or fish tail? Skin. Mm. Uh, I, I guess like a rat. Mm. And there were my weapon is special. When I was fighting you in your rat form, it can tell me the last lie that you told. And you had said that you were sleeping well. Do you recall saying this? Uh yeah, uh, my uh, uh, wife asked how I was sleeping, and uh, that's what I said. <clears throat> you didn't want to worry her. Who does? Mm. It tells me you think the dreams are more 
than just dreams that they are maybe dangerous? I'm not sure. I just thought they've been keeping me up at night is all. Hmm. Well, so um, how did how did you get it? You so you followed me down. Why did why were you following me as a rat? Uh, well, um, there were a few fights that we had with you as a rat this evening. So we followed you maybe to uh, the source. Are you okay? Mm, yes. And he kind of like looks off to the side and points at Bert. Well, why was he working with the rats? Why is he tied? I was uh, tied too. Did he turn into a rat too? Um, not quite. There was that on his head, right, Noel? Yes, uh, Merp found it. You're not wearing an invisible helmet, perchance. Uh, an invisible helmet? No. Yes. Like this. Do this. And you guys hear tink, 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 tink. Oh, right. there it is. You, you seem to be wearing an invisible helmet. I, I don't think I am. Well, do you mind if I try and remove it? My Not head? The no. helmet. The non-existent helmet. Uh, roll a persuasion check with advantage. I'll say that either Hakala and Noel can roll one each, or one of you can roll with advantage. What do you think? Well, I can oh, tell you can... mathematically what the best option is. Oh, but... yeah! <laughs> oh, my God, I completely forgot. Yeah, I got a plus seven. Oh, my gosh. You want me to roll with advantage? Well, that's eight higher than my bonus. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool one. Uh, all right, so I just oh, clicked man. on the advantage. Oh, Love I hope numbers. I hope this goes well. I, I do. I really do. Please. Nice. Okay, nice. great. Um, yeah. Fuck. Uh, there's still hesitation in his body, but uh, okay. You see, his, his arms just kind of like hanging beside him, and he kind of seems to offer his head. Okay, I will be very gentle, and then she taps the helmet very gently, hoping that he hears the tink tink but probably doesn't. And then she, you know, feels down very gently for like the lip of the helmet, uh, kind of the same way she sort of takes her helmet off, which is, you know, thumbs under the lip and then just pulls off. So she's going to do that, but with her fingers and she's just going to gently, you know. Just <laughs> Much like with Noel, you feel a little bit of resistance again, almost like it's sticking to his head, but it's invisible and you don't see any, uh, like hint of that on his head like you don't see his hair being pulled or nothing but you you do feel a little bit of resistance it's nothing you need to make a check for or anything he's mm -hmm. and you're able to just kind of pull it off uh and once it comes off uh each of you watches his expression just dramatically changes from that confusion to panic uh and his, he just sort of looks over you oh my god oh fuck so okay i'm sorry i i i know what's going on here um so there's some rat who smokes a pipe, uh, who hangs out in the sewers, wherever we are. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, but he, I saw him in my dreams a few times too. And I haven't been able to control myself. That has been happening and I can't even speak like this. Uh, thank you. And you seem kind of like lunge forward and, and hug Hilkatla. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, so, so when he mentions the rat with the pipe, you hear Bert go, like he's still like weepy and everything and just making these noises. But he goes, the, the rat men have a uh, have fancy voice. Um, yeah, I, he seems really posh for a rat. Uh, Did he sound really nice. like furry man? Did he sound like furry man? Like furry man. And he's like moving his head toward no. I, I believe he's <laughs> indicating my person. I, I, sure, I guess. Uh, um, it, he, not the same voice. Um, but he's 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 uh, not your size either. Um, I don't know. He, 
I know he smokes pipe. Um, I know he is intent on devouring souls. Uh, I know that these, and he kind of reaches for the bottles that he, uh, that weren't quite on his hip, but seem to kind of materialize as he's pulling them out and seem to be emptied. And you do recognize them as the potions he was hitting. Are, I don't know, maybe bottled souls, maybe something from them. I think I was drinking the essence of people. Oh. And I, it's a lot. Um, and uh, just from seeing what I have put you through, I'm so fucking sorry. And I think if you intend on 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 handling this, I think we need to maybe regroup, maybe get a few things. Uh, this guy, I haven't seen him fight, but I I I'm scared. I'm going to hesitate because okay. last time I tried this, someone pulled a knife on me, but I'm going to put a hand on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And, um, first of all, it is entirely not your fault. Secondly, we are now in a much better position since your mind seems to be freed. Thirdly, if there's items you think could help us with whatever knowledge you have, then that may be may very well be our best chance at defeating it. And fourthly, this may sound alarming, but they are only words and cannot hurt you. And then in Abyssal, I'm going to demand that he tells me where Chitrick is, just to see if anything happens. Boy just <laughs> changed personality. It's probably for the good, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna caution it. Uh, roll me an inside check. Yes, yes. I'll say with advantage, just because of the situation. But like, also as you're doing that, when you put your hand on his shoulder, he like you could see he was kind of trembling after the helmet came off, and he was just kind of like shaking with pent up energy. Uh, but with your hand there, it's just he is vibrating like a chihuahua. Like there's just <laughs> so much trembling going on, and it's likely not because of your size or your hand being there. It's just, he is just shaking. Um, and what with that, and... Souls? I'd shake. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Um, there's a dub's, there's a dub's hand. At least. Hey, <laughs> uh, he can't hear you. Uh, but hey. as you're saying that, uh, you're able to recognize that he does not, <laughs> I don't know what just happened back there. Uh, he does not understand anything you say in Abyssal. Uh, and after it comes out, you see his eyes kind of widen. He he uh, spoke like that. Well, what was that? Excellent. There was every chance, especially seeing the helmet on our own companion, that removing it released your personality and your self and this willingness to help was genuine. But if for any reason there was a semblance of the rat remaining, I thought it would speak in its native tongue. Uh, <laughs> but um, it seems there was no recognition of anything that I can read off you. So um, I think we're in a good spot to push back. Now, you said we should regroup. I don't know how much farther there is to go, but I know time is of the essence. Though we are, um, of course, taking a moment to gather ourselves. Yes. Say that out loud real quick. <laughs> he said uh, he had big plans for tomorrow night. I don't know what it is. Well, it gives us some time, though it gives him time as well. Um, uh, he, he knows you're coming. Definitely. Well, then I suppose the time will make little enough difference. Now, were you just talking regroup, regroup in general, or did you have something specific that might aid us in mind? Not that you would need to provide it, but if you know what it is. I, I don't... I just know he's dangerous. Uh, I'm pretty sure I watched him drink poison, and it didn't bother him. Certain things just don't seem to affect him at all. Hmm. Interesting. Even in the, 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 the cold nights, sometimes he exhales and it seems like frost comes out of him. And even if it's not that cold, but something something's... I don't know. I don't know. He can speak in your mind. Uh -huh. But you might already know that. Uh, I don't um, think we experienced that yet. 
So oh, that's good. It, yes. So he seems to not care about poison. He has some kind of frost thing going on, uh, as well as telepathy. Um, uh, any? Have you noticed anything else unusual about it? Um, <laughs> He's a giant rat. Uh, <clears throat> Any identifying markings? Is it, to, to, to me, I think he the, that rat might be, not be a red rat, but maybe a white rat or a light colored rat. Did you, do you remember uh, anything about its fur? Everything looks red when you're under his influence. So he looked red. Mm, light fur maybe. No patches, no spots. Interesting. Look well furred, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to take a quick second to put the pigmented helmet in a sack. So I don't have to worry about the pigment rubbing off and we can find it. And then <laughs> I'm going to take a piece of chalk and just kind of like mark a couple lines on the inside of the helmet so I can see the lines of chalk and then put that in a separate sack. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So the the one that Helcotla still had that she was just holding on to. Did you have one of my sacks? No, not not your sack. Oh, the, the helmet. One, the one they took off first. Oh, the second helmet. Okay, and I was yeah. like, I remember giving you a sack. I would have. Because <laughs> she's actually, you know, oh, trying shit. to like bang it a little bit on her uh, armor just to like show him, show Hinga that it's actually there. <laughs> and once you took it off, he has not acknowledged it at all. <laughs> okay. Um. So she looks to Merp and says, Merp, can you color this one too? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and she holds it out so that he can like throw the paint if that's what he wants. He's currently doing like an alchemical magical oh. process. He's in the middle of nonsense. So like he's in the middle of like, like what do you see? Middle of nonsense. <laughs> Um, here, I'll just hand you the piece of chalk. It won't be permanent. But uh, you could... he, he can, he'll take out like the the dye thing and roll it over to you <laughs> while he's like, oh, doing yeah, stuff. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, yeah. And that's then, totally fine. <laughs> and Fernandez, you were uh, detecting magic. Is that correct? On the blood. Yeah. On the blood. Okay. Does it need to be on a specific thing, or is it just the detect magic spell that just kind of? Because it's that, just the detect magic spell, on. and yeah, he's okay. just casting detect magic. Just I was trying to keep the alchemical flavor. Oh, no, I hear you. I hear you. Um, okay, so you do recognize um, that in his blood, it does seem to be um, glowing a little bit. Uh, it's not probably as obnoxious as you were expecting, uh, but it is exactly the school of magic you were expecting, which is transmutation. Merp, Merp found transmutation in the blood. What? He found what? Transmutation. Transmutation magic. Oh. Heard transportation earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I heard transmutation, but he's just confused. Huh? Okay. Um, you, were, hmm. you were under the effect and possibly still are, maybe. Might need another sample. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Do you need another sample? Uh, I don't think so for now. Do, do we want to... <clears throat> What do we do with him? Do you think he's a danger? Do we bring him to the cops? Do we uh do we bring him to um to uh Mukami maybe? Well maybe uh, she's got a sort of run though. Uh what do you guys think? Because if you send him back home with his wife and he comes around again. Uh yes, maybe uh Mukami could offer a solution. We need to get out of here. Uh yes, well, with um yeah, we'll take our nap first, but um with Hinga here with us, it would be irresponsible to press on and risk someone not prepared for the fight. So Hinga, how good are you at swimming? Oh, uh, I'm all right. Everyone swims in the infinite every now and then. <clears throat> all right, I was gonna say desert guys okay at swimming, but I forgot about the infinite. <laughs> yeah, I forgot they had like an answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we um so on our way down, huge amount of water trap. So 
if we go back, might have to swim. Okay. Well, unless do you happen to know of a separate exit now that you're free of the influence? That's true. Y- yeah, actually. Um there's the the I think where you found me coming in was the most convenient. Um there's tunnels like that in every house that the rats have reached. So we Excellent. can return to my home. Okay. Yes, you should tell your wife that you are okay. Who knows how, how long you have been missing. If missing Not yet. Results are inconclusive. Might still be under transmutation magic. Oh, right. Fair point. Your wife um, might also be a rat. <laughs> so let's go back to your house and make sure she's in bed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh okay. Um I I I remember how to get there. Uh just sure. Wait, we're taking uh, a short close. nap though. Just just short nap, short right? Nap. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Short nap. Okay. I'm gonna Karen just like nap. start to open my mouth and stop. And uh, I think this is probably a good place for us to uh, call it a night as we are getting close to, uh, mm-hmm. well, actually past nine, pardon me. Um, so we'll end here with all of you about to take your short rest. Um, I will give you guys uh, the, the relief of knowing that your short rest does come to an end with no issue. So if whatever hit dice you want to roll, whatever um, things you get back, just make sure you have that uh, cleaned off. I'll remind you again at the start of next turn or next time we come back, but just in case you want to make sure you do all that shit now, feel free to. Um, yes. And with that, uh, I need votes for inspiration for next uh, session. Uh, and we gonna... This is so hard. I don't know who to vote for. Everybody did so awesome. <laughs> everyone's, doing, everyone's doing great. Do you remember uh, that... Uh... Okay. What was it? That, that Avengers movie where Hawkeye got mind controlled? The, the first, Avengers. Avengers. first Avengers. First one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry, there's a few of them. I'm bad with this shit. But I remember the actor talking about getting mind controlled and that he hated it for some reason. I'm like, you were in a Marvel movie. What's the what's your problem? I get it now. <laughs> you can relate. Really- also, what a fucking time to save your inspiration, die, uh, Anita. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, I was fucking scared <laughs> when you had to roll against the rats. <laughs> yeah, Woo! we're. Oh my god, we're scared yeah. too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what? Um... Yeah. Oof. I'm not gonna outrun him. This was <laughs> <laughs> this um this episode had drama. And I love it. Um, yeah. What a ah uh, the stakes, the like mm-hmm. split between the party. There's um uh it's spicy and yeah. uh, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> we like it to be spice. You guys did a great job with that, by the way. Both you, uh, both uh, Karen and Noel, that was cool. I was not expecting it, but it was great. Yeah, yeah like Karen's. Karen's trying to go home. Karen thought that like Mukami was sending her out for like a girls' night on the town with some new, yeah. with some fun new people. Uh, and now we're now we're wet. Now we are wet mm-hmm. in a sewer. And the infinite, yep. it's mm. the best thing is that's what she thought too. Like uh, that's the thing that I think. Um, <laughs> Nenners, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Normally, I, hold on. Let me just double check. Are we going to raid anybody? We are, of course, going to raid somebody. I'm just doing. I'm making sure I'm not uh, fucking anything up. Uh, so, normally, I would uh, make someone roll because there was a tie, but I am feeling generous. I guess I don't know. You guys are just gonna fucking get three inspiration die for next round uh, yeah. because two people tied. Um, so, congratulations to Vogli, Kit, and Joe. Uh, the three Yo. of you will have inspiration for uh, next session. So, uh, you will have those. They, they expire at the end of the session, so make sure you use them. Um, Thank you, but what the fuck did I do? 
Uh, you acted I'm, very well. You're fine, and, man. Uh, people Take liked it. people liked what you did. Uh, so with that, uh, we're gonna go raid somebody. I have to go find out who the fucking raid is. We're gonna um, raid. Yo, oh, we figured out the secret. All we gotta do is make sure there's a five way tie, and everybody gets inspiration. <laughs> no, yeah, guys, <laughs> let's. No, I, I always say that I will never let that work, and I I'll let it happen once, and then never again. Um, so we don't call her foosball no. generous, in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know it's a rare thing. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm looking for someone to uh, raid. Is I'm just looking at something. Girls doing anything? Is yeah, they are. I I try and raid people, new people too, so that you oh. know we we spread the love. If if I ever have a a, a default, I will always I mean, go back to it. But... I will just say that one of the recommended channels is called Sensei Sensei Suplex, which is just fun to say. They're playing D and D right now. <laughs> I'm a suplex. Sensei, sensei Suplex. Let's do this. I see it. I see it. Uh, I I love that name so very much. Let's 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 raid. Let's go. Let's All go. right. So I will start the raid. Uh, we will be back next Monday for uh episode six of Task Team M. Um, we might be doing something new or different on Friday. We'll see what happens. And then Saturday, I think we're back. Pretty sure we are. Terrain. Pretty sure we are. Who knows? Um, but as per usual, thank you guys so much for being here with us. And uh, we'll catch you later. And have a wonderful night. And Bye, everybody. Have Bye. a great week. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy.